Hello. Welcome, welcome to, to you. You take get it away. You take it. Well, <laughs> welcome everyone to the official Pokemon Showdown Showdown Four. That's right. <laughs> if this was a gym fight, it would be Erica, I think, in Gen One. Uh, <laughs> we're ready to fight some grass types together. Uh, Riley, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm realizing how few like I have a semi good knowledge of round of Gen One Pokemon gyms. Cause I'm like Brock, Misty. Lieutenant Surge. Mm hmm. Koga. <laughs> um. Nope. Sabrina. She's she's around. Lance. Anyways, and Giovanni. <laughs> none of those matter. What matters tonight <laughs> is that we are here uh, being the best in Pokemon competition forward. We are here with our inaugural rounds of what we are calling the Pokemon Showdown Showdown 4. We have 16 competitors locked and loaded and ready to go. Uh, but they're going to be playing Pokemon tonight, not necessarily in the way that you might expect. Mm -mm. You know, a lot of weekends you can go to the Pokemon Twitch channel and see people playing the, the hottest new action in uh, Scarlet and Violet. Bullshit! No. Worthless! We, we are using Pokemon Showdown, uh, an online web client that can let you do... Uh, it, a, it lets you generate whatever kind of matches you want to play out. A lot of fun. You could play normal matches that way. We're not going to. Not us. This is going to be a format tonight. We are playing a format called the Broken Cup. Riley, this is a format right up your alley. Okay. Every competitor is going to have randomized teams. That's going to be a consistent throughout the tournament. Nobody picked Pokemon coming in. Okay. Nobody yeah. has seen the Pokemon beforehand. Uh, I mean, th then they know who Pokemon are, but they don't. <laughs> yeah, they, didn't, they didn't choose. They didn't choose who to come here with. Uh, you get to the dance and your date comes out. The Broken Cup means that these Pokemon exist in ways that you might never have seen before. These are Pokemon that have been modified to be as broken as possible. Uh, they are they are extremely powerful in ways that are not normally allowed in competitive Pokemon. Um, some of them might have moves that they wouldn't typically have access to for balance reasons. Uh, some of them... I, I don't really know how deep into the weeds it goes. I'm looking at our current matchup, and I believe that the abilities these two, first two Pokemon have uh, do have their regular abilities, but we're going to see some wild Pokemon stuff that we have not seen before, and that, frankly, a lot of our competitors will not have seen before either. <laughs> and that's part of the magic of the Pokemon Showdown Showdown, is that it can be chaos in that way. You can get people who don't know a ton about Pokemon, who can wander in and just fuck it all up in a beautiful, beautiful way, but... Andrew, I hope this isn't your first night learning about Pokemon, because you're going to learn wrong. You're going to learn it bad today. <laughs> but not only are we doing randomized brackets, we are also doing a, a little... We're hearing from our competitors. So many times mm -hmm. I sit and I watch an eSport, and a man in a backwards hat walks up onto the stage. He gets his ass beat as Raditz, and he walks away. Not today. Today, we are going to hear from these people and hear their pleas, hear their cries to the moonshot audience out there. And here with, and, and, and as they prepare to potentially go all the way in the Pokemon Showdown Showdown and become one of our elite four. Well, would you like to introduce us to our first new challengers? I will. Let's let's go to the Titan Tron right now, and I'm bringing up Jacqueline on screen. Pokemon Showdown Showdown Four. Last year, I came out and proved that anyone, even an underdog, could compete with the best of them at Pokemon battling when I won the loser's bracket. So this year, there's a fresh sea of faces and a fresh returning batch too. Everyone has a fire in their hearts and I'm not any different. My first match is against Claudia. Claudia, here's everything I have to say to you. You've beaten Jeff Stormer, one of the best in the business, and we have comparable win-loss records too. So by all accounts, I should be afraid of you. But I've checked the numbers, and there's not a single person in this bracket who I've ever lost a match to. Your loser's champion is going to be returning this year, everyone, and she's going to come back with a vengeance. Claudia, let's have a good, fair fight, and I'll see you out there. Peace. All right, so there realizing, is Jacqueline. <laughs> realizing that you've never lost to a single person in contention is an incredible feeling. <laughs> it's it's pretty fucking cool, I'm not going to lie. But I'm excited to see. We have a fighting. 
Yeah, we have a response on 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 the board here from Claudia, who again, let me cut to that big bad Titan Tron that we got up there really quickly and let's see it. <laughs> Hello, Jacqueline. This is Claudia. I was originally going to do a take on Macho Man Randy Savage's, but the cream rises to the top. You want this? Uh, but I decided it wasn't really good in context. So instead, I'm going to say, this is Archer. He's my cat. We found out recently he has heart disease. Um, please let me win. Otherwise, <laughs> he will be sad. <laughs> a compelling <laughs> argument. <laughs> oh boy, uh, truly, truly. How do you compete with a, a competitor coming up to you to talk smack and just saying, please, please let me win. Please let me win. Please let me win. <laughs> Holy shit. Incredible oh, business, boy. incredible performance. I'm so excited to see who comes out of this. Should we, should we, uh, uh fucking, should we go see them? Let's cut to the match. Uh, on our side of the table, we are going to have, uh, you'll see the name Swamp Duchess. Uh, that is Jacqueline. On the other side, we are Alexandra. That is Claudia. <laughs> and we are looking at a really interesting matchup. Are, are we, should we set this up before we get going or should we launch the match? I've said ding, ding, ding. Marna is delivering the message right now. So Ding, ding, ding. What do we have in front of us, Andrew? Caldeo and Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves being, what is that? Is that metal and... So Iron Leaves, these are weird. These are these Paradox Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Uh, these ones specifically from Violet. They are future Pokemon. Uh, the annoying thing about them is that they all look like they should be Steel types and none of them are. Uh, this one is a Grass Psychic type. <laughs> none of them are Steel? <laughs> I don't believe so. I'm, I, there might be one. Uh, okay, so we're Ooh. off to uh, the races. Uh, Iron, Incineroar. so we swapped into Incineroar, a very powerful Pokemon. Uh, Iron Leaves used G-Max Befuddle. What is that? that? So, if I remember right, I believe that that is Butterfree's signature Gigantamax move. Okay. A move that always puts the opposing Pokemon to sleep. If I'm remembering which Pokemon gets G-Max Befuddle correctly. And then followed up by Quick Earthquake. Incineroar already on the outs with 40% health left. Mm -hmm. yeah. Claudia is on her back foot as the swamp yeah. duchess looks over now what people could say that incineroar is one of the strongest pokemon of all time looking very bad here Sw swaps into virizion a grass fighting type takes that hit really well uh you might notice these look similar uh iron leaves is kind of the paradox form of virizion yeah it's looking uh, into so a grim mirror of yourself right like it, you have it, to look into the robot it really is uh, iron leaves fires off an earthquake doesn't do a lot of damage Hits with that max Ooh. befuddle, does zero percent of its health damage. Interesting. Does that mean that it did so little that it didn't even register as a single percent it of damage? It didn't even health? register as a percent, but it is well, sleeping now. Verizian is asleep. This iron leaves using. You, you might notice uh, one thing that's worth pointing out: G Max moves. Those are typically only given to Gigantamax Pokemon. Iron leaves is not currently Gigantamax. It's just got it. And further from that, the Terra Star Storm. That's a terrorist, a, a Terra, Terra size. I don't know what the fuck you call it, but that's from the new game, right? Yes, Terra Star Storm is a is a move <laughs> from the new DLC that I'm blinking on what it does. It's so new that I have not internalized it yet. Oh, ho, ho. now an interesting... I might. I, I was gonna say I might be wrong about what G Max Befuddle does. It might just always do a status effect because it looks like it poisoned Keldeo that time. Well, Dire Leaves is out now because Keldeo is able to make its way through, and I think that in itself is a success because getting that G Max yeah. Befuddle off the board that has already knocked out, put to sleep two of your Pokemon. That is a pro move, and Tapu Bulu is here in Tapu. hopes to stop the bleeding before it can start. Tapu Bulu is here uh, now. Interesting note. Keldeo is currently using uh, Torch Song, which mm -hmm. is the signature move of uh, the Fire Starter from Gen. Ooh. From Oh boy! Goodbye. Gen, uh, it is it is a move that uh, that increases your special attack every time that you use it. So uh, Keldeo is off to the races. It was able to fire off two against that Iron Leaves. It's a <laughs> this this Keldeo is set up. It is poisoned. Uh huh. 
we will see if that poison plays a role in this because we are set to kind of uh, just kind of delay this match out. Mega uh, but... is on the field. Here's the question Mega... I have for you, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Right now, yes. who are these competitors do you think has the advantage? Because you have two Pokemon down, two Pokemon to sleep. What's the difference? <laughs> so this Keldeo is in really good shape. Mm -hmm. It is. It has buffed its special attack three times. Uh, it is at low health, though. Mm -hmm. If this Keldeo goes down, Claudia is in a rough position. Mm -hmm. Two of these Pokemon are asleep. They've both used their guaranteed turn of being asleep, so they could wake up at any point. Mm -hmm. However, they could also just stay asleep for three more turns, I believe, is the amount of turns. Oh, and that's a sleep. lot to lose. Yeah, but this Keldeo fires off a clear smog, doesn't do a lot of damage, but resets Keldeo's stats. That's big. And with that the poison and huge. that Technoblast? That is huge. Oh. Technoblast comes in, deals 35% damage to, to this Latias. That probably would have KO'd if it still had that, those boosts. Clear smog Another... again, just for posterity's sake. We don't mm -hmm. know what the other three are on Claudia's side. She opted to bring out uh, Ver Verizon Wireless again. Right, <laughs> Verizon Wireless is in here. Mountain Gale is the move that is used. Oh boy, oh boy, that's Mountain the first Mountain Gale down. is a damage dealing ice move that is the signature move of Hisui and Avalug. I would have known that if anyone has ever used Hisui and Avalug. Registeel is out. This is a solid bulky Pokemon. If Claudia's got a way to set up or a way to just kind of stall some stuff out, this could be a way to do it. But Stall why... feels like it might be tough in a position like this, though, where the format is just, here's a bunch of busted shit. Now, who... And he, my question is, why not switch into Registeel earlier? That must mean that there's not a lot left in those last three. Why switch to a Pokemon that's asleep unless you're trying to, like, wear out Latias in some way? Is that what's happening? Well, I, I think that... I think that uh, Claudia recognized that that, that Verizian probably not doing a lot, probably not going to do as much in this fight while it's asleep as the Keldeo is, used it as a pivot in order to look you know what i'll give this one up but that means i can use the keldeo at least one more turn mm -hmm. i put up a poll you in the chat for our listeners to vote on who will win jacqueline or claudia and right now the votes are on jacqueline's side as they bring out skeledurge we are swapping into skeledurge skeledurge is coming out now skeledurge is the the rightful owner of that torch song move <laughs> so <laughs> it or it just knows superpower and okay. 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 Skeledurge has the ability Protean. Paralyzed. It's a, sorry. Its you... ability turns into the type of the move that it is using. So it got a boost to special to damage based off of that superpower by turning into a fighting type. Um now it then it used mock punch. Oh it's Reg a, Steel can't fucking move! It can't move, Andrew! It's been is, paralyzed! That is three turns of paralysis, I believe. Uh I believe. Another, another mock, mock punch. punch, another 10%. A fourth paralysis. <laughs> Somebody call Aaron time, Zang. Five time. We've got a new champion here. Oh my god. Jacqueline might be able to pull this off. Incineroar is out and fully healed due to a healing wish. Wow. Oh my god. All right. That's Red's clever play. To fire off healing wish. What a. Boy, I can't imagine the stress of trying to trying for f multiple turns to try and fire off that mm -hmm. healing wish, only to be paralyzed each turn and watch your health dwindle and dwindle and dwindle. Now, Skelet now I know Incineroar, that's that's fire and dark. What is Skeledurge typing? Normally, Skeledurge is a fire ghost type. Right mm -hmm. now, it is pure fighting because of its ability. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised that it's not turning into oh! a rock type. <gasps> Shadow Bone from Incineroar takes out Skeletors with a critical hit. Shadow Bone, the signature move, I believe, of um, of uh, Marowak yeah, from yeah. Alola. Alolan Marowak. So now we're sitting here, four on Al on the claw on Claudia's side, three on Jacqueline's side. Zygarde, is that base form? Is that no? That's a ten percent, something like this that. This is, I believe, Zygarde fifty percent. I believe there are three forms. There's little dog form, there's big mech form, and then there's this the thing middlest, in the middle, the if I brother. remember correctly. This is the Travis McElroy of Zygarde's, and they are I, here to play. I believe so. Incinera firing off another Shadow Bone. Oh, but Eating a short an Earth work. Power in response. 
It is cur <laughs> currently three Pokemon apiece. Oh, oh. Sending it out a superior with the ability Imposter. So it transformed into the Zygarde? Ability. Now, it transformed into the Zygarde. Uh, supposedly, presumably, one of the ways that you use things with Imposter is that if you've got something like uh, like Trick, or not Trick Room, a, a Choice Scarf, mm -hmm. um, something that you are able to use to make sure that you are faster than the opposing Pokemon, even though you are them. Oh, a big That's dodge on that Super Fang, and then a Super Fang right back. We are Super Fanging each other. Super Fang dealing half damage each time. It is an Super even Fang? ball game right now, Andrew, because there's three Pokemon on each side, two revealed. This is very close. I don't know who to call this for. Claudia I... won our vote, but the, the, the underdog beyond on all underdogs, Jacqueline might make their way to the top here. Another um, miss from Claudia, Fang. a Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump doesn't quite get the kill. <laughs> I will say, yeah. Earth that power Earth does power enough to take out the superior. We got Earth. a Caldeo and a and a, a mysterious Pokemon. The real oh. question is, does Claudia think that this Caldeo can come in? It looks like it. Can this Caldeo come in, kill the Zygarde, and then die itself? If it has something and like then, quick attack or a priority attack, it will take the dub here. And it, it uses does. Technoblast. Oh, Claudia and still on the back foot, though. It's two to it one, is, baby. It is two to one. What is the mysterious Pokemon that... Claudia has in the back. Can it beat a Mega Latias and a Mysterious Pokemon on the other side? Ogre Pond? Who the it fuck is are you? It is Cornerstone Ogre Pond. What a, a very strong Pokemon. What is this freak in front of me? <laughs> so, Ogre Pond is from uh, the new... Ooh. Ooh, the Paralyzes back. Wrong Can't move. move again. Paralyzes that Ogre Pond. An Ogre Pond could possibly win a 2v1. It's gonna be a lot harder when it's paralyzed. Call Jacqueline Adding, figure 11 because she's not paralyzed and she seems to strike her enemies down every fucking time. Jacqueline moves on to round two, Claudia in the dirt. That is <laughs> the loser's champion as Jacqueline declared themselves before the match. Moving forward. Oh my God, incredible behavior, incredible work out there. Andrew, what did you think of that fucking match? Oh, what a match. It is hard. It, the, the format keeps you on your toes because uh, I don't know what half these things are. It is tough watching an Ogre Pond come in, get paralyzed, whiff on a fancy Let's Go Eevee signature partner Eevee move, Baddie Bad. <laughs> Uh, I don't like the name lose, Batty Bad. I'll be real with you. <laughs> yeah, lose to a, a dragon danced mountain gale. <laughs> Give me one quick second, Andrew, to get this in, get this all in motion here. Uh, I What I want to hear is, I guess, God, should we just actually go to the next matchup? Is that what the move is here? You know, I, I think that that might be the best case scenario. Uh, we've got, <laughs> up next, we've got two, uh, I believe two... Um, two Crabs fans, uh, RNP to the Baltimore Crabs and the concept of Blaze Ball. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got uh, Manic, the local nuisance, up against Clown, Groudon's Chosen. Yeah, yeah, Manic has been here multiple times. Clown, I think, also has been here multiple times. So mm -hmm, we're, mm -hmm. we're kind of in a, a look, at the, look at these champions, show it back up to kind of fight back for their spot that they believe they should have. It's impressive and it shows the 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 history, the legacy that Pokemon Showdown Showdown has amongst its people. Now, yes. Andrew, are you ready to hear from Manic? I'm always ready to hear from Manic. They always contribute something great. All right. I am bringing up the Titan Tron right now. <laughs> What do you want? I'm on vacation. What do you mean there's another one? Okay, fine, I'm in.
I always forget that uh, one of our competitors is one of the Daft Punks. <laughs> it's always fucking impressive to me. Manic is so goddamn cool and I forget that every time. And this time they showed up in costume and it was genuinely shocking to me. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. And then who's Manic up against? You said Clown. Is that correct? Up against Clown. Local Clown. Local Clown. Known uh, for member interstitial, of interstitial Infinity. infinity. Mm -hmm. Regular, regular uh, competitor. And apparently fan of Venomoth. Venomoth. Yeah. Let's bring the Titan Tron up on screen right now. Uh, hey, Manic, how's it going? It's, uh, it's me, Clown. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to call about, uh, you know how, uh, uh, about a year ago, I think it was, uh, you, you stole my Venom off in the draft league we're in? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Thanks. <laughs> if you need to call me, you can get back at this number. Uh, yep. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> I like to assume that it was the same phone call in both promos. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was exactly that. That was Manic looking at their phone and having Cloud call. <laughs> well, Andrew, the only thing we could do next is go into the fight itself, into the fray. Are you ready? Yeah, we're we're looking at the at the matchup. We've got just Vibin is our our the person that we're looking at. I believe that that is is Manic. Uh, and on the other side, we have Gay Boy Prussia, who is Clown. Uh, people do not like matching their trainers to their actual names or their usernames they normally use. So I'm always <laughs> a little bit lost. But I believe Manix Dragonite is sitting up here against a Mega Swampert. It is true. Uh, it is true. And I've given them the ding, 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 ding. And we're now, ready to fucking one of the go. Things, one of the things that we see in here uh, right now, this Mega Swampert, I don't know this for a fact, but they might have an item that isn't the Mega Stone. It might just be that this Pokemon is the Mega Pokemon. Oh, let's go. And they don't have to worry about holding items or doing anything fancy like that. Welcome to Broken Cup. <laughs> Welcome to Broken Cup, baby. This is what it's all about. We open up with a G-Max Vine Lash to a Nature's Madness. This is, do you think this is gonna be as exhilarating as the Claudia and Jacqueline matchup? Well, uh, the, the, the first turn, one person did 1% of damage, so I, I'm not sure. Oh, but there's 49! This Dragonite. Ooh, Ooh, this Dragonite, unable to swap out, uh, but it Ooh. did fire off G... Or, or the, the Swampert can't swap out because of the G-Max Vine Lash. The Swampert doesn't want to leave. The Swampert damage. doesn't want to leave, Andrew. It's busy clearing the fucking floor! I wonder if there's something interesting about the G-Max moves in this, because they didn't do a lot of damage in the last match either. And that was a Belly Drum Dragonite, which well, had cut its HP in half in order to maximize its attack stat. Well, Andrew, G-Max moves, I think, have a base very low attack. It's just the bonus that they get from G-Maxing that gives them as much juice as they have. I think that's actually true and maybe something that I've learned from reading chat. <laughs> They are, they are, yeah, they're based off what their base power is. So, yeah, I think that you might be right. <laughs> well, that is an unfortunate oversight. Uh, we fired off oh! Baddie Bad from Iron Valiant last turn, which I guess put up Reflect. Swampert, Swampert holding grab on. An apple. Uh, an Accelerock did not quite kill the Swampert, which is able to keep hitting back with Grab Apples. What's going to uh, happen Hitting here? for some damage, lowering defense on, on Manic side. Once this Reflect goes down, uh, that that Iron Valiant might crumple like a tin can. That's the hope, uh, Iron right? Valiant, not actually made of iron. It is a fairy fighting type. Again, absurd. They should be steel types. <laughs> you would think. Embor comes out. out. <laughs> Good for Embor. <laughs> uh, we have a 0.5 defense on an Iron Valiant, which isn't going to help Embor that much, right? Because Embor isn't a fit. Never fucking mind. I'm mm, out. I don't know shit. Oh, shit. Iron Valiant misses a hurricane. Uh, what a what a bad uh, hurricane has a I believe seventy percent chance to hit, which means it has a zero percent chance to hit. Uh, Embor uses double iron bash, the signature move of um, the nut. 
Uh, <laughs> Mr. Big Nut. Uh, you know his name. Uh, Iron <laughs> Treads comes in. Again, not a steel. This one is a steel type. Ground steel. Beep, beep. Uh, high horsepower. Kills the Embor in one shot. All right. We are in it now. Two down on each side. It is a matter of business here. They're trading blows left and left. Haymakers. We aren't seeing. We are seeing one shot, one kills. Precision engineering here from Manic and Clown here. Uh, am I right in saying that Clown just got super effective against them? It, yeah, both used a super effective moves. Uh, Iron Treads used Thunder Cage, uh, which I believe means that Walrein can't swap out. Uh, meanwhile, Walrein used Heat Crash, <clears throat> super effective, but not doing a lot of damage. Oh. Uh, some Salt Cure coming in, Ooh. doing some passive damage over time. Boy, we dealt a little bit of damage, but then this last turn, Walrein is hurt by the burn. Walrein is hurt by Thunder Cage. Walrein is hurt by Salt Cure. Clown Walrein is just climbing takes little back bits up of damage now. to go down. Clown is on their way up as Manic throws out another Iron Leaves, <clears throat> the second Iron Leaves, Iron Leaves we've seen in this tournament so far. Uh, and a Salt Cure hits, but a Wonder Guard protects. Now here's something fascinating. Ooh. Iron Leaves apparently has Wonder Guard, an ability that means that it can only be dealt damage by moves that are super effective against oh, it. Oh, no. Another thing worth noting is that it is holding a balloon. That means ground type doesn't actually effective. affect things here, but it is worth noting. Okay, we have a, oh fuck, from Clown in the chat here. This might spell the end for Clown because what are they going to do? You have to know Iron Leaves typing in order to take it out. Now, luckily, you can ho hover over it. It is a grass psychic type. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, Probo Pass comes in with Desolate Land. Let's go. Turning the sunlight extremely harsh. Oh, Probo Pass, what do you got? What can you do against this grass type? Probo Pass, the psychic what do you bring? Probo Pass, normally a Probo Pass is going to have steel moves, thunder moves, rock moves, maybe a ground move. Curious what it's transformed to do here. a normal type and a big hit from Thousand Waves turns into they've terrestrialized, huh? Probopass used a malicious moon salt. Wonder Guard does not mean it affected. Oh, shit. I didn't know that we are finding out in real time that Terra is available to our competitors. This is insane to me. So, Manic now has something that is undamaged. Andrew, what is what is. What is super effective against normal? Fighting. Fighting? That's it. If Clown doesn't have a fighting a normal type move, guy. this is wrapped. Thousand uh, Waves comes in, takes out the Probo It's pack. just too fast. It's just too fast. Infernape uh -oh. is out here. Bad news for Iron Leaves. Infernape is a fighting type. And now it's in sunlight. Oraculum Pulse. What is that, Andrew? Or... <laughs> Oracalcum Pulse is the signature ability that Koraiden has. While it's in sunlight, um, it, it gets, it, it, it boosts its own, or when it comes in, it boosts its own attack and sets the sun. Infernape so Infernape, a fire fighting type is in very good spot. It did not Used Lovely out. Kiss oh, to put it to sleep. Oh, oh, While oh. it's asleep, used Clangorous Soul to cut its own HP a little bit in order to raise all of its stats by one stage. It is a so lovely kiss to knock out the Cabalion. Then it went fucking Kaioken. This Infernape is about to bring it in. Core Enforcer, big hit. Not really 19%. Not a super huge. <laughs> smaller hit than we expected. Uh, Core Enforcer is the signature move of, it's a dragon type move. That Zygarde has, okay, it's a dragon type move. Uh, meanwhile, Spatial Rend, I believe is um, the Alga's move? Vicious Rend coming in, uh, a water move that deals extra damage if you go first. But oh, uh, Infernape, Infernape is, is too fast for that. Infernape's in a bad spot right now because it's really all that Clown has between, between victory and loss here. <gasps> Infernape needs yes. to stay up. Uh, there, there's a mystery Pokemon in the back for Manic, but the assumption is that it's the only thing that can hit this Iron Leaves right now. Mm -hmm. So you have to wonder if Manic's considering swapping it out to bring in this other one, or if they think that they can push through this Iron Crown. They're going first. If they've got a move that they think can deal some damage. Oh, or Sleepy Time can... Junction for Iron Crown. Good night, send Moon. Sleep... Send it to Sleepy Time Junction and then see if they can get through there. 
Flareon! Flareon comes in. Ooh, gets hit immediately with the wake up spatial rend. Yeah. Oh, and it's wiped from and the, the board with a vicious rend. rend. It's all ogre for clown, dude. It is all ogre pawn. Boy, what a matchup. I, this one has been rough with oh. having to deal with Wonder Guard. Now, Wonder Guard, normally it's balanced by the fact that the Pokemon that has it, the typing isn't great defensively. And it only has one HP. So you hit it once and you're done. Mm -hmm. But not for Here, Manic. Manic on a, moving on, a on to the next round. Paradox? Fuck. Crazy. Incredible behavior for Manic. The good news for all of us here is that we get to hear some sick fucking music. <laughs> but incredible work. Incredible work. Incredible match. Oh, God. Andrew, what do you... What do you think about Manic's chances in the next rounds? Manic is a returning champion here. Uh, not well, a champion, Manic but returning. Manic lost that match, I believe. So no, probably Manic not won. great. Manic won. I thought Manic was on the... F no, no, no. I asked for clarification mid-match, Andrew. Manic oh, well, is Game good. Boy Prussia. <laughs> My bad. Manic, good job. Cloud, Manic I actually apologize. has pretty high chances of winning. <laughs> I bet, I bet pretty good chances. <laughs> I apologize for that. Listen, um, there's yeah, a lot of I, shit happening. <laughs> it is it is hard to say what anyone's chances are because this format is so wild. Uh to to peek ahead just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh what is our uh, tomorrow our matches are going to be uh we're going to be doing some random things in in a format called Battle Factory and Benjamin Butterfree. So I mean, those are going to be some interesting matchups that uh, I think they'll do well. But for now, we need to move on because uh, we need to see two uh, two newcomers to the show. Uh, and I believe that I need a new link. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Well, in the meantime, I will I will describe our, our two newcomers. Uh, up next, we have uh, Kiefer, the Select and Starter, uh, the host of Select and Start. Good job on that title. <laughs> Let me cut to the Titan Drawn so we can hear from Kiefer. When I'm through with you, cause you're gonna be a ghost type. It's gonna be a ghastly night if you know what I mean. Oh, Pokemon Snap. He went there. You better Pokemon Go, Pokemon Home now. Because I'm about to beat you Pokemon Black and Pokemon Blue. <laughs> Incredible. We love good pun work. Was that Richard Nixon doing the overall work for Keith? Uh, I think you're looking for JFK, but yes. <laughs> it's some when kind I'm of done with you. <laughs> and and I who, do like Pokemon Go, Pokemon Home. <laughs> who is who is up against Kiefer, Andrew? Their their opponent is uh pete the hungry hungry tour guide uh they are the co-host of hello hyrule a podcast that you know more about than i do i love hello hyrule so much i love it so much jake and I, jay and i don't shut the fuck up about it honestly but i want to hear what they have to say so here i am cutting to the titan tron this is Kiefer. i don't know this person <laughs> Uh, but no, I'm glad to, to, to be here, honestly. It, it's, I'm glad that I was invited. I'm very excited to meet all of you and take part in this uh, lovely tradition you guys have been building. I just realized I'm drawing a wheezing. Uh, probably one gonna be, it's going to be on my team. Let's go with that. And uh, Kiefer, you also will be wheezing after you uh, deal with my <laughs> my team. We're going to, uh, you know, be here for just a few minutes. Don't worry about, you know, uh, 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 the discomfort of the gases and such of this. I just realized how high up this picture is. Yeah, and uh, you are going to be in distress. And, you know, I'm going to win. And we can just get back on with our lives. I'll get back to playing uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth, uh, available now on the PS5. <laughs> Andrew, I too will after this be getting back to play Final Fantasy Reaper on PS5. Yeah, glad to officially announce that we are sponsored for this stream by Square Enix. 
<laughs> it's a big get for us, especially it's after a get. they were just really happy we sold one copy of that fucking <laughs> Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> Currently, we're waiting for the room to get set up. Uh, and once we get that link, we'll be able to cut into it. Andrew, what have you thought about the tournament so far? So far, this is fascinating. I This is my... Um, on, on one hand, this tournament has been uh, very interesting. It's wild to watch these matches. It's, it's incredible to see these strange Pokemon matching up in weird ways. Um, on the other hand, uh, it is my personal hell because nothing I know matters. Um, <laughs> it's all out the fucking window. <laughs> I'm supposed to be here to say, here's what I know about Pokemon. Meanwhile, this Primarina has Terra Volt as its ability. We, you're, you're right, Andrew. We should, we should cut to the fucking screen and see what these clouds are up to. We brought this it Polygon up. Polygon Z is comatose. <laughs> We've brought it up on screen. I'm going to tell our competitors, ding, 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 and let them fucking go at it. <laughs> yeah, we've got, I, I know this one. Uh, Pete is the one close to us, and Kiefer's the one far away from us. I, uh... <laughs> Big brain plays here. That's that responsible behavior of naming yourself the same thing to and from. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, we got some let's go keepers in the chat. I'm gonna put up the 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 poll on who is going to win uh, this matchup here. Who wins, Kiefer or Pete? And additional votes are on. Should you please? But go I... <laughs> wild, get nasty. Now, presumably. Uh, the competitors are going to have to take a moment. I know they had to reset the room. That might mean they had to reset the battle as a whole. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I'm hearing that they're working on it. We're, we're having some behind-the-scenes issues as they're playing through it. It reset. Hold it on. It looks like uh, technically a competitor forfeited this match. Yep. Um, one second, one second. You know, Pokemon Showdown Showdown is its whole ordeal and a half of, of making itself work. But we got it back up here. And don't worry, those Pokemon are fucking gone. We never have to see them again. Normally, uh, a player's allowed to concede at any time. Not here. <laughs> yeah, if you forfeit, you we find you. <laughs> Nowadays, Edge My Pete has Naganadel, uh, the, the dragon poison beast boosting ultra beast. Uh, select to start. Kiefer's got an Iron Hands here. We're seeing a lot of these fucking Iron Handed Iron Motherfuckers out here today. And Ooh. I think I like it. Immediately ter terastalized Iron Hands into a Psychic type. Uh, Malignant Chain came into Iron Hands. It's a, a poison move, I believe. Uh, Iron Hands fired off a Stone Edge. Trading a little bit of damage back and forth, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. nothing, nothing sticking too solidly. Now... I know Kiefer is a kind of a, a, a scholar of games as a whole, but Pete is a scholar of Nintendo stuff specifically, which I think might give Pete the edge here. But from what you said earlier, maybe it doesn't even matter because you're throwing all that out anyway. Yeah, Naganadel used Light Screen. Meanwhile, Iron Hands used Spirit Shackle, the signature ability of Rowlet. So who knows what any of these Pokemon can do? We got a heal on uh, the board. Naganadel, 9% health left. Both still one and one. We're trading proper blows here. We're not even going out. This isn't a one hit KO fest like the last match. You're gonna watch some technical Pokemon portrayed here in front of you today. Yeah, Iron Hands ate a berry, gave it enough HP to survive that move. Fired back with another Spirit Shackle. Now, I believe that first Spirit Shackle locked Naganadel into the match, couldn't escape if it wanted to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Malignant Chain didn't quite do enough. Roaring Moon comes in has intimidate so it's able to make iron hands quake in its iron boots cut the pp uh, of all moves in half as correct much with its physical moves what's that doesn't it, does intimidate cut the pp of every move in half am i right about that you're thinking of pressure intimidate ah. uh makes intimidate um uh lowers attack when it enters the field andrew i need you to know i tried to study for this for you i appreciate it uh <laughs> roaring moon fires off a tail glow to rise its special attack Meteor iron hands fires back with a stone edge and then Meteor Mash gets the boost to its attack based off of that. Let's go. Let's so go. Roaring Moon is just climbing up in its stats. It's lost a little bit of HP in that matchup, but not a lot. So oh. it really feels like it's anyone's game. We're still a one-to-one, -one and, and it's a horse, of course, from Kiefer. 
and we get Spectreer out here on the board against Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon having a 2.5 special attack, 1.5 attack right now. Kiefer won our poll as to the, the crowd thinks will win. But with that Dragon Ascent, lowering the defense and special defense, it might be over faster than you can say. It is all over. You know, Spectreer came in. It was true. It truly haunted the last format of uh, of uh, before before Scarlet and Violet fired off a Dragon Ascent. Didn't deal as much damage as you Ooh. might might think. Uh, Esper Wing came back in from Roaring Moon. But a clutch fit flinch there, keeping a Roaring Moon from searing flinch. the job. Spectre has speed boost, so every turn it gets a little bit faster. That means that because of the Ooh. flinch, this double iron bash is going to be able to pick this up. Oh, it's Spect faster than that dragon, and it has just enough HP to be able to get in and say, No, you're done. And in a format, and now I'm super fast. In a format I'll like able, this, I'll get off an attack before I go down again. In a format like this, you're not going to have a priority move in the same way that you'd be able to cut this off with a quick attack or something, right? Like this faster and faster and faster where all these legendary moves are going out you're not going to see something that's going to be able to jump in line and get ahead a magma storm from spectrier fires off a lot of damage i believe iron leaves has takes damage every turn now mm -hmm. maybe not May um, magma storm has turned off now after the death i think because because the spectrier died you know you'll notice iron leaves here by its name it says fallen two uh, it has the ability Supreme Overlord, which is normally uh, only on um, the the new evolution of Bisharp, who I'm blanking on right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 um, Blackbeard. <laughs> yes. Uh, but so normally it, it gets powered up by the number of Pokemon that have died before it comes into play. <laughs> three for the three on Iron Leaves. Hit. And has everyone who's had an Iron Leaves lost their match? No, Manic no, won I theirs. I don't believe so. Manic won theirs. Well, I'm not sure. Type Null comes oh. in. A normal type, and it looks like this one can't be crit. It has battle armor as an ability. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pres that, presumably. That big crit, that big anti-crit could come in handy here. But is that Mega Banette across from it, or is that just what Banette looks like? Uh, You know, you are, I, I think you're right. That is Mega Banette. Both of these individuals trying very hard to, to prepare for the other's attack, but they they baited each other, guard on each other, cosmic power on that type null to boost those stats as it holds on against Banette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Banette used King Shield, which does something fancy. I don't remember the specifics. Um, type null used Obstruct, which is the thing that if you deal if you attempt to hit it with a contact move, you're going to lower your stats. So. We've got to protect off at this point. Mm -hmm. It's back and Who's forth protecting? here. Who's protecting? Who's attacking? Oh, immune, immune to triple Ooh. arrows. Rookie mistake from Pete there. A tight matchup that did not go your way. Presumably, triple arrows, I believe, is a ground move. Does that mean that this Mega Banet has levitate? Who could say? It must mean something here I again. We're a very defensive I fight. Another protect on both sides. I, I'm i beginning to worry that Pete can't pull this off as Banette kind of like spends out their remaining Pokemon. Banette has the W here. Storm Drain! Cosmic Type Null has Storm Drain! We got a so big, beefy boy on the field, Andrew! I hit off a Hydro Pump. Wow. And a miss on the Lunala coming in, dodging the water immediately, trying to just find something to handle this Banette. That's a good switch out. King Shield's back up again. Freezing Glare. How much PP does that King Shield have? That's the question. I believe it is five or eight, depending on if they've been... Auger sh somewhere. Anger Shell. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, okay, I guess these Pokemon have multiple abilities. Uh, <laughs> Anger Shell is Cloud's signature ability. Uh, when you fall below a certain HP percentage, you lose some defenses, but you crank up your stats. Oh! A Hydro Pump crits, but doesn't quite but kill the Lunala. Banek is cleared off the board. Lunala holding out with 7%. Pete is back in this ball game. <laughs> All right, Celebi. This could be scary here. This could be scary. Celebi mm -hmm. being a legendary, and it's one of those things where if you're small and scary, 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Reg Ice. Yeah, this still could be anyone's game. Hone Claw, Celebi's sitting there. Scritching up a little bit. Scritching it up. up Scritching it up. Celebi's one of those Pokemon. It's just a little guy. I don't think I've ever used it in a fight. He's I a have no idea what it's capable of normally. Who knows what it could do here? That's a double Hone Claws, but the Ice Attack clears but it off the board immediately. Pete suddenly, suddenly has the advantage. A critical Mega Horn. Arcanine with Supreme Overlord gains strength from its fallen allies, comes in and says, hi there, Regice, a giant iceberg. You know what's good against, well, oh. you know what's good against that is a big dog. No retreat! Does not deal the amount of damage that I think that we were expecting it to. And Regice sits and says, you know what? I'm not swapping. I'm not scared of this dog. Bump all my stats. I'm staying Oh, in. Psycho Boost. Is this gamble going to pay off? The Heat Crash has not taken it down. I don't think it's going to drop 39% without a crit. The light that burns the sky is not able to do it. The Psycho what Boost is, hits. What in the world is light? Oh, that is, I'm sorry. Ultra Necrozma's special Z move, light that burns Ooh. the sky. That does take out Reg Ice, but Reg Ice did an incredible amount of damage against that RK9, and that and yeah, I yeah, I um, think that I, I think that Kiefer thought you know this is a clear cut match. This can definitely go two for one. It'll take out Reg Ice easy, and then go to something else. And Reg Ice said, "No, I'm staying in." There's that triple arrows hit. Pete might have this. That's the triple thing arrows. about Pokemon Showdown, Andrew. Is that any given day it can all be turned on its fucking head? Well, in comes Zerud, a Pokemon I forgot existed. Sandstorm, indeed. This is a Pokemon that I think you had to get at GameStop for Sword and Shield, something <laughs> something like that. Oh, Storm Drain again, Storm triggers Drain triple back arrows. Out. <laughs> Super effective triple arrows coming in. Oh, buddy. It oh, is a buddy. fighting move, not a ground move. I was confusing it with something else. We are in it now. Collision Course connects with a critical hit to take out Type Null. 77% left on that Zerud. The 7% Lunala. It is very low Lunala versus Zerud. Oh. A dark type, Psychic Ghost versus a dark type. Zerud resists both both stab types that Lunala has, but what does it have in the back? Zerud goes to use Beak Blast. Oh, and it, it misses. misses! But Lunala connects with the heated up Beak, burning it. Lunala's at 1%. It Can Kiever survive the one turn? If Pete can't do it this turn, it's game over. All on the line. Pokemon showdown, showdown right here. First impression is nothing. My first impression is that Kiefer, a first timer to this tournament, is moving on to the next round. Holy, what a match. What, what a, a match. fucking match. God damn, dude. That Holy Chat has shit. reminded me. I'm thinking of thousand arrows, which is a ground move. When there's only three arrows, it's a fighting move. <laughs> oh, what a match. Holy shit. All right. What an incredible fucking lead up between Kiefer and Pete. That was top tier combatory there. Um, I, I cannot believe that it came down to Zerud. A Pokemon that I legitimately did not realize got an official release. <laughs> well, luckily, Andrew, we have some more competitors out here on the field for us today. And and as always, those competitors come with promos. So would you like to hear from them? This one is a bit of a, 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 a same show rivalry, if I understand. Correctly. Yeah, I would love to hear it. All right. Let me turn to the Titan Tron right now. Hey, what's up? It's Lex uh, from Additional Postage Required. I play the voice of Strelitzia. Um, never been in the Pokemon Showdown Showdown, but uh, I'm here and we're gonna try our best. <laughs> um, I, I really don't know that much about Pokemon. I pretended I did for that one or two uh, episodes I was on for Chance of the Making. I'm a fraud. Um, <laughs> but you know what I can do is crochet things. I made this. Ain't that impressive? Okay, bye. 
<laughs> I it is impressive. There are two kinds of promos. It is the I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm going to win, and then the also I'm a little guy. I'm gonna fucking. I'm die gonna get today. fucked up. You're gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. It's so fucking funny. Who is Lex up against, Andrew? Uh, Lex is up against Theo. Theo again, yes. Theo from additional postage required. Who does who does Theo play? Let me let me scroll in our notes here. Oh fuck. Theo in additional postage required plays. I wrote it down! I can't find it. Hopefully they tell us. I'm cutting to the Titan Tron. I trusted you, Riley. In the year 1453, the walls of Golden Byzantium fell. Right. And this weekend. So will the entire team of any foolish trainer who dares put their sorry asses against me. Hi, I'm Theodore Monk, occasional writer, podcaster, furry, and voice of Moth Sparrow from additional postage required. And this weekend, I will be your courier of vengeance. You see, I heard that my fellow cast member, Lex Frazier, would be participating in the festivities. And because we all know that fiction is real life, my blood calls out for recompense. Strelitzia, you better keep an eye on that mailbox, because I will be coming to stuff it full of razor wire and glue traps. Even if it means I have to slaughter my way across the entire Elite Four to do so. Oh, wait, there's how many competitors? Oh, shit. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night will stay the ass open I got in store. So tune in and get ready for a delivery of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking top tier. Holy shit. What, what a promo. I, <coughs> I, I, will, I will also say, I love when... You're talking about the two types of promos. I love it when uh, they, one goes up against the other one. Because one person goes, I'm just a little guy. Please don't hurt me. The other one goes, fuck you. I'm a big guy. <laughs> I'm the biggest man you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, incredible work oh. from these two. Let's let's see if they can do incredible work in the ring as well. I've pulled them up on screen. And, of course, that means I'm going into the chat and I'm saying the, the three little words every competitor wants to hear. That is ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, we are off to the races. Oh, As the a blood, blood moon, moon comes out from the neck trick. Link, the blood As moon Majorna races. <laughs> oh, fires up. Bitter malice. Oh, uh, my that God. Is a, the that is the signature move of, I want to say, Usui and Typhlosion. Manetric is, is ground, Omega ground down is on Lex's side here. We have Theo on the left with Magurna. We are cooking. We are moving here today already. Thank you so much, oh. Nessa, for the gifted sub. A U-turn. That means a switch is Both? in play. It means a switch is in play. Both players fired off an attack that first turn and said, this ain't it. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of here. Pre-Marina in here. Water as one. Unnerve. Two abilities. It also has, well, it has as one, which means that it's got a nerve and I guess another ability in there somewhere. And uh, it, but it's also got an air balloon. So it's it's hovering in the air. Groudon can't hit it with a ground type, a ground type move. Oh shit, oh which, shit, oh shit. We're having a pause here as they figure. Do you switch? Do you keep it moving? No, you hit it with fucking poison! You hit it with a sludge bomb. The balloon pop that popped! Sucker. Fiery Wrath hurt by poison right now. We have 49%, 52%. It is anybody's ball game right here, right now. The Funk Soul Brother. Let's see what happens here. I. Props. Props to Pre Marina. It is hard to stop off and say hi. <laughs> I compete mano a mano with. Primal Groudon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a David and Goliath situation here. And I am impressed by David. But a Lunar Blessing to boost Groudon's lunar health. Lunar Blessing to heal. Oh, but still taken down. The poison's not going to be enough to do it alone. Pi Lex no, but that might put Primary on a spot where it goes down to the next, to another Sludge Bomb. It might, but the question is, do you risk it? Do Are you faster? The Lunar Blessing. Groudon trying to heal again. Trying to be blessing. too cute. Takes it out. Oh. Chilling Nay activates, boosts Primarina's attack. Tried to it's be too fucking cute. So doesn't get a lot out of it, but it's there. 
All right, all the right. Pre-marina, you know what? What am I talking about? This pre-marina might turn around and throw down with a high jump kick. Who could say? This pre-marina can keep it going, but can it against a Darmanitan, one of the worst Pokemon I've ever laid eyes on? Now, this is a Zen Harmanitan. One of the things about it, if it gets to half health, it's going to really come to life. We're pondering, we're thinking, we're preparing here. What is the type of Darmanitan here? So this is a fancy Darmanitan. Well, now it's a water type. Before it was a fire psychic oh, type. Oh, Free Marina, out of here! Uses Noxious Torque, a move that was originally only available on the the fancy cars that Team Star drives <laughs> around on. I know that's true, but it's just funny to hear you say it. Yeah, the Starmobiles. Oh my God. You know, in front of God and our 43 viewers here, this pervert comes out against Darmanitan Zen, and suddenly oh, I'm rooting for Lex. Black of all. No. Black of all is great. I don't. I do not, good sir. I will say, my wife is a uh, a big opponent of any Pokemon that moves too much on its screen. Oh, so. and it is, it is, it is moving. <laughs> hey, chat, Riley Homophobia Arc not happening. <laughs> also, don't hell yeah that. <laughs> Freezing Glare comes out. Doesn't quite pick up the KO on that Quackaval. Oh, uh, Quackaval might still be able to do something here with that damage special defense. Apple Acid dropping it down. Survives. Oh, Darmanitan kicking it over there. Keeping it up, keeping the dubs where it can. The question now for Lex. My wife in the chat. I was legit just thinking about how much I hate how much this thing is moving. Sam Listen, got it. I know my wife. <laughs> Iron Treads is out here again. Now the question for Lex is, do you keep Darmanitan out at 2% or do you wait till you think it's faster than something to get it out there or do you bring it in in a pinch? Like, do you let it out there to die now or does it die later? There, you know, there could be some value in, well, I was about to say there could be value in swapping it out so that it gets the, it it's, loses all of its, uh, its um, special defense drops, but I don't know how much special defense that thing needs to not take 2% of its HP. Hydrapples We're here. swapping in. Hydrapples in. A foul play comes in from Iron Treads. Foul play deals damage based off of attack. All right, all right, all right. Important notes here. They consider each other here, two competitors. Well, this feels like a neck and neck, a, a two people who are equally matched. The chatter being super effective, confusing the enemy. That confuse could be the end. Of Lex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, confusion, not something you want your uh your your Pokemon to have be running around with. They're, these two are Drapple taking a little bit of damage at a time. It hurts itself in confusion. Boy, you, you hate when your Pokemon gets confused and you're just sitting there like, mm -hmm. boy, I I want it to do something and it's just not happening. Yeah, I sure hope this works. It hurts itself in confusion, and now Hydrapple might go down without ever actually using a move that isn't just having one of its heads come out and bite the other head. Uh huh. Hydrapple out of here without doing out that shit. Hydrapple. I would say that's foul play. Theo and Lex both down two, both two revealed, now three revealed. Crobat is out here on the field. What's going to happen? Crobat's coming in. Crobat, the savior of many of my uh, loose Nuzlocke runs, I will say. <laughs> Who do you think? And, and and my Crobat didn't have Infiltrator when it was doing that. So talk to me about Infiltrator. What's that do? So Infiltrator, I believe, is an ability that lets it get around. Um, I believe it lets it get around like protect and also oh. anything that would redirect your move being used. a hard so, a hard a collision me. course and then the chatter not doing much but hitting mm. that confusion again mm -hmm. oh look sometimes in pokemon you just have to annoy your opponents to death mm -hmm. you just gotta hope to god that you can stop them we saw it earlier with the uh the wonder guard we might see it here with <clears throat> confusion spamming <laughs> i mean there's no spamming in pokemon showdown showdown because any of them any move you do to get the win is real if you went to your competitor's house 
and fought them physically, I'd count it as a W for you. That counts. Yeah, that is a viable option in the showdown showdown. Iron Trans uh, using yeah. Roost, boosting its health back up. It's a... We're in a bad wow. way here, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I should say, I said spam. Spam's not a bad thing. That's what we're here to do. With a nasty plot and a foul play, we are able to nasty land plot. something, but... Yeah, raising that special that uh that special attack on Crobat. Lex just needs to break through once and break through strong here. The mm -hmm, question mm -hmm. confusion's over. It's time to break. 44%, not very effective, is still big. That foul play, how long can Theo lean on that? Crobat has priority here. Knocked it down to 56%. If this was a critical hit then Boom Burst can do it, but it's an eruption to clear it from the wow. board. There we go. Chilling Nay apparently is its ability, raises its attack. All right, all right. Cracks through that little, uh, what is Iron Tri The uh, A Pachyderm, is it an elephant? I think, I think it's Whatever an elephant. It is. I always read it as an elephant. <clears throat> Whatever it is, cracks through it. All right, all right. These two are are truly are they're circling each other like fencers. You can feel the seriousness of these two competitors in the way that they're fighting, in the way that they're believing, in the way that they're mm -hmm. trying. And that's one of the beautiful thing out of Pokemon Showdown Showdown is you get to see a seriousness hit you when you know that this is fate. It's it's a no. little bit about trainer, but it's a little it it's more so about were you meant to win this from the beginning. Yeah, nobody tells Sam. It's another wiggly biped out on the field. Uh, Cinderace here, a bit of a nerd, uses download as it came in. Oh, we got the fabled <clears throat> nerd jock on the field. Yeah, no, no, normally uh, download is just the realm that uh, Porygon has, but Cinderace, you know, it's been putting in the work. Been working hard or hardly working. They're considering here. I wonder. A freeze dry out doesn't kill the Crobat. Crobat using a fire type move against a fire type Pokemon. You know what I said? It's a little bit the trainer, Andrew. Well, and notably, Eruption, its power is based off of how much health you have left. Ugh. This Crobat's firing it off without much left. Only deals a little bit to mm -hmm. the Cinderace. But Manectric Mega is now out here. The big Pompadour is here. Mm -hmm. Now, worth noting, uh, it's currently four to three, but of those four, two of them only have, I want to say, like, 10 HP between the two of them. It's a scary matchup here. It is It is very much, Pilot has the numbers, but doesn't have the the momentum to keep up. It very much feels like, like Lex is on the defensive here in a way that Theo is not. And that is a thing that they should be aware of and... Swapping into Crobat to tank a hit and get yeah, another Swapping chance. to Crobat for the swap. Are we going to see this this mystery final Pokemon? No, Manectric is no, back, back out. back to Manectric. Just trying to bait out a moment. This is where, you know, we said we can see the seriousness of the competitors. This is where you can start to see the panic creep in. You can start to see, like, can we do it? Can I get there? Can I make this happen? But with a big yeah. Bolt Beak, maybe you can. You just got to believe. Powerful Bolt Beak on the Manectric. Magma Storm fired back. Does trap Manectric. And uh, right now it's dealing damage at the end of every turn. I believe if the Cinderace goes down, that effect stops. But mm -hmm. And it does go Bolt down Beak. right now. Finishes it off. It is two to three now. It is such a close match up right now. This is a true competition here. These... I, le I legitimately thought those were sirens on your end, Riley. <laughs> oh, my fucking whistle. <laughs> I, no tornado sirens for me tonight, Andrew. <laughs> Going to you live for the one. And if there were, I'd go downstairs and take my little camera with me. A Turbo Blaze Metagross is out here now. Ooh, it's radiating a blazing aura. I believe that means it does extra damage with its fire moves. Interesting. What fire moves? <laughs> Who could say? Uh, Metagross and Magirna are in here now. Two steel types, two powerful steel types. And uh, Magarna, a Pokemon that is so strong that it's never really been allowed in real competitive play except for one season. This is interesting here. It feel, and here we see the last one. Our Chaludon. All right. It is a steel fight. This is metal on metal. This is watching the goth kids fight in the hallway. You know what I mean? 
I don't. Say more on that. Goth kids listen to metal, Andrew, right? Oh, okay, okay. And so it's metal on metal. They're they're fist fighting. It's it's it I thought it was <laughs> It doesn't matter because we have a poltergeist being used. Poltergeist is coming out. Normalium Z Metagross gets hit by its own Normalium Z with a ghost move. That doesn't feel like it should be allowed, but here it is. Here it is. This is where Lex can bring it all home with some clever play. Can is, Lex seal the deal here? Is this big tower bridge dragon going to clear this one home? Can this freak bring the freak show back to the moon? Majirna is here. Poltergeist triggers. It missed. Poltergeist misses. Bad miss. Bad miss. Bad miss. The very bad miss. Now, one thing to know about Majirna. <laughs> Assuming it still has Soul Heart as an ability, every time a Pokemon dies and it sees it go down, Majirna boosts its special attack. Oh, so if Majirna takes out Arachlodon, and then th this could be crickets. At either so, side, we are in a situation where, like, once momentum is gained, the end is near. Oh, uh oh. Bitter malice on that Darmanitan. This is the worst thing you could have done. It goes down. We're going to see if, it, you know, it's. Not, I don't see the boost. I guess it doesn't have Soul Heart. There we go. There we go. That's a the very lucky play. coming in. All right. All right. All right. Breath is held here in the, the Moonshot Pokemon Showdown Showdown Coliseum. We are waiting to see what happens. There's a nervousness in the air here as these competitors bring it on. Oh, a switch and then another switch immediately. Lex is panicking, but that Leech Seed might help something supremely right now. Happy Seed is a move I've never heard of. I presume that that is a move that Pikachu or Eevee gets in uh, the Let's Go game. Oh. Setting up a Leech Seed while dealing a little bit of damage, that is dangerous as we are looking at just this, this two. G-Max Sweetness comes in, not very effective, doesn't do anything. Malice. And a bitter malice comes in, damages that Archaludon, lowers its attack. Oh. Manectrix coming in, hitting, getting hit with a bitter malice. Lex is trying to what find what works. You can, you can feel that inexperienced trainer in the air right now. Please, oh, a man named Babs. Hello, Ooh. Hyrule coming in, gifting five tier subs. Thank you so much because you're gifting those subs as we're about to watch a victory come in front of us in this matchup of Theo versus Lex. Thank you so much, Chris. A Blood Moon hits. That's how we saw the match open. Is it see how we see this match end? 33%, 72%. Attack is damaged. Attack is down. Manectric is out of moves. Somehow. No, Manectric is struggling. That's why they kept switching away. It's all over, Andrew. Theo moves on after a hard fought 33 turn battle. Fucking wow. incredible. How, how did it run out of moves? <laughs> Andrew, I'll be real with you. That's up to you. That, that's what I, I come to you for is that, that kind of like direct knowledge yeah, I, i'm i'm right here too i'm not sure what happened but wow what a match oh that was what a fight the two the steel wall is still up and uh the metal menace moves forward to our winner's bracket it, it's it's such a, it was such an impressive play out from the two of them i i am utterly kind of floored by the quality of play we saw here tonight but um mm -hmm. i'm excited to see the quality of play that two other competitors are going to bring to our field andrew I think the mm -hmm. champ is in the room. I. Yeah, it smells like champ in here. It smells like, it smells like champ in here. There's two champs on this field right now. And oh, the one that we have first and foremost is Fleur. I'm going to take you and turn you to the Titan Tron. All right. Hey, everyone. This is Fleur from Fleur. Uh, my big impressive promo is getting pushed back to Tafama because I was reading a little too much Yuri manga. So instead, I'm going to take a minute and talk in detail about some of my favorite Yuri manga, such as After Hours, Kakeyoshi Girl, How Do We Relationship, and Other Side Picnic, and Ano Kiss, and Even Though We're Adults, and Octave, and 2DK G Pen, and Bloomin' to You, and Love Letter for the Marching Puppy, and Sayonara Rose Garden, and Amaya 
Tsuki and throw away the soup together. Mizunon Chayama, vampires, Circa Wrath, and a failed princess is still sick. Hello, Melancholic, Roll of Run Die, Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games, Intro to Easy Triangle Relationships, Watatabe, Who Could Forget the Wolf in Love, Monthly in the Garden with My Landlord, Destruction Lover, False Marigold, Moonlight Flowers, Does It Taste Good Senpai, Claymore, Am I Love the Villainess, Asmi Chan is Interested in Lesbian Brothel, Sleep the Sheep Princess in Wolf's Clothing, My Girlfriend's Not Here Today, Set Out the Green Manga from Twitter, Sweet Guilty Love by the White Rose and the Green Disorder, and Tangled Man, Don't Know from the Effect of Moon, Handsome Girl and Selfie Girl, and Hope to Unload the Sun, the Green Manga, and Rain of Sun, and Just for the Best of Gaming, 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 and Just yeah, incredible. <laughs> Drop me that list. <laughs> and the former champ, two-time champ floor is going up against our one and only Jay Petroquid. Are you ready to hear from Jay? I'm always ready. All right. To the Titan Tron, we go. Hi, I'm Jay, and I'm recording this video from my bed. Why? Because I'm scared to leave it. That's right. My winning streak here at the Pokemon Showdown Showdown could best be described as non-existent. Things happen to me in this tournament similar to what happens to food upon entering a blender. However, I was hoping that perhaps this year I'd be able to get out a good old win or two, really a proverbial feather in my cap. Then I saw that my round one matchup would be against Floor, a person who I would best describe as Satan or the Grim Reaper. There is not a lot I can do here other than hope and beg and frankly be a very scared, frightened little guy. That's why I need you, the audience of Pokemon Showdown Showdown 4, to cheer for me. I'm begging you for your praise. I'm begging you for your support. That's right, Floor. That's the one thing I have over you. You may have the superior Pokemon competitive knowledge and skill, but I am willing to look pathetic. Game on. Was that the song Emotion from the Pokemon Black and White soundtrack, Andrew? <laughs> Popularly sampled by Lupe Fiasco? It might have been. It was a song I recognized. I didn't think it was a Pokemon song, but I'll, I'll take it. I think I know that because I had that on my iPod in high school because I like it a lot. Well, there we go. Jay says Riley has it. All right. And with that, I say that Jay has it. Let's see this fucking match, shall we? Yeah, Floor is here in the driver's seat with a wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Meowskarat is on the other side. Uh, the new the new starter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You may know Meowskarta from Karina Drawfee's, uh, <laughs> not Meowskarta's. And I, again, will make my way down to the green room and get a like, big old bell, and I will make a noise that sounds a little bit like ding, ding, ding. Meowskarata used Make It Rain, yeah. the signature move of Goldengo. All right. As but... Wishy Washy used Floaty Fall. Right. Wishy Washy Floaty Fall has a nice mouth. Wishy Washy Just Floaty a nice Fall, mouth Make It Rain, Goldengo. <laughs> <laughs> That's mouthfeel to me. She, she Wishy Washy on my. I don't know. Floaty uh, Fall until I Goldengo. <laughs> Until I make it rain. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Meowskarat has lowered his special attack based off that that make it rain. Uh, fired off. Didn't do quite as much damage as that as that weird uh, ghost likes to do. Uh, we're kind of in fear right now because whenever there's this much thought going on, it means either, oh my god, I'm fucked, or oh my god, I need to do something. Deancey's coming out. Now, Jay is on the back foot here. Because Fleur is, as the Cynthia Sprite suggests, the best in the biz. I am you afraid know, I, of Fleur. I I think that, and I mean this is no disrespect toward Fleur, but I do think, uh... Sorry, my wife just texted me. She floaty fall in my Goldango till I wishy-washy. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Thank um, you, Sam. Thank you, Sam, everybody. Do you want to you come in here <laughs> Dude, I I think that I think that something that Floor has Floor good mastery of the game knows what they're doing, but I do think that a lot of people get in their heads fighting fighting an opponent that they know is good. Oh, HP I, restore move is big right now. Yeah, healing off of Deancey, use a little soft boiled, eat a little egg. That's what we call it. 
Astral Barrage coming in. No, Jay cannot do damage to this Wishy Washy in any way that matters. It, 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 it seems like every time Jay does something, it just gets fucking beefed. It does not well, land. Yeah, the Psycho Boost is a move. It does a lot of damage the first time you use it, but it, it lowers your special attack is the problem. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. is... <clears throat> Other soft boy. Am, am I reading this right? I think that Deancey has Parental Bond as an ability. Is that... I think that it has the ability of Mega Kangaskhan, and that's letting it attack twice every time it attacks. It does. That is incredible, but... That doesn't seem to be enough if Jay can't get a fucking shot off against this wishy washy. It's it there there is a fear in the water here. M Mega Pidgeot is out here, gets hit with the energy ball, but can tank it with a resist here. But still or lowers, we, that, special lowers that special defense, but it's a good tank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need to think. Pidge Jay has to try to figure out what to do with this fish, and that is Terrestrial Ivy Cudgel wow. off a terrestrialized dragon, a crit hit, clearing the wishy washy from the board, drawing blood from Fleur. We see here's our, another Verizion. Our, our our match necessary Verizion is out in the field. Not only brought to you by Final Fantasy Seven R two, also Verizon. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Actually, wants to, if anyone actually wants to sponsor the, oh! the thing, get us up. Big soul blaze. soul blaze. Oh, and the ceaseless edge doesn't do jack and shit, but it does put on some field, uh, some some field uh, uh, hazards. Yeah, Clangorous soul blaze is the signature ability of Coma O. Oh, you know what? It is a Z move. Uh, normal, so it it increases all their abilities and deals damage. J, what a move! J is up to nothing right now. Jay, if Jay can keep this momentum, if they don't have to tag out Pidgeot, then Jay might just fucking have it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not often Ooh. that you see a Mega Pidgeot being a real sweeper, but when it's a Dragon type that has uh, that that has 0.5 and everything, uh huh, and is holding a Camonium Z. Mm -hmm. I mean, Buzz Swole is out complain. here. Larry from SpongeBob is present now. <laughs> This could be Jay's first ever Pokemon Showdown Showdown win against the champion. Ivy Cudgel resisted there, and the Diamond Storm coming in to deal damage back. I don't know if Jay has anything that can close this Buzzswole in the way that we are hope that he's hoping for. You know what I mean? Well, even if this now, if this Pidgeot, if it if it loses to this Buzzswole, it's still getting good damage down, mm -hmm. and it already took out two Pokemon. Jay Jay is ahead here. Mm -hmm. um, his other Pokemon have taken some damage, but I do think that if they really wanted to, they could swap in. You know, DNC is taking some hits, but it has an inbuilt healing move. They could soft boiled and then say, great, now I hit you twice a turn. Speak of the devil and it shall arrive. DNC is in, damaged, and goes down immediately uh, because of that. Soul Heart down. Between those spikes and that. Apparently, Buzzwell has that ability that, uh, that, uh, I was talking about Magirna? that Magirna has normally. That's not good. That's not good for Jay. Now, normally Buzzwool's a physical attacker, but Diamond Storm could be a special move. So, Bro. you know, for Alligator comes in, present. eats some spikes. Oh, what are we going to do here? What typing is Buzzwool, Andrew? Buzzwool is a bug fighting type. Okay, okay. So... That's an interesting type match. I'm trying to think of what's weak to that. What would do X super effective against that? Uh, Guardian what? of Alola, big hit. Guardian Woo! of Alola comes down. Yawn, drowsy. Alligator's it, feeling a little drowsy. But if he can get one more of those off, he can clear another Pokemon off the fucking board. Yeah, that's not the Pokemon in play. I think you're thinking of Hypno. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the big thing with Buzzwool, uh, fire is weak to, the big one is flying. Flying is strong against both types that it has. Buzzswool been buzzy buzzed to the grave. Buzz. Beautiful work for Alec. Me <laughs> Mega, Mega Rayquaza. Ray oh no. The champ get that preferential treatment in the, in the traps. Oh my Oofa god. And a doofa. Jay Lure saying, in the battle chat says, don't worry about it. Okay. 
<laughs> I think Jay's a little worried about it. Zippy Zap immediately hitting the sleeping for alligator. Fast asleep. Jay can't switch into the Pidgeot because now we know there's an electric type move on this Rayquaza. Who do you switch I'm to? I'm sorry. Rayquaza with Zippy Zap raising its evasion. Oh, no. Oh, it's... And it gets to use that and set up on this sleeping for alligator. Oh, it's all over for Jay. I wouldn't want to call it so early, but it might be over. That is raising your evasion to two, two pips mm -hmm, mm -hmm. while dealing with a for alligator is rough. That's not going <clears> to <throat> go well. That is not going to go well at all. You have to wonder, does Jay have something on their field that could clear status effects right now? You know what I mean? Mm hmm. It, there, there, there has to be something they can do or else they're not going to be able to hit this motherfucker for the rest of the game. Now, an important note here, Andrew, as we talk about kind of the outbalance that Mega Rayquaza brings to the table, Mega Rayquaza is a level 62. That for alligator was level 72. So they've been yeah. they've done some work to try to even them out a little bit here. Inteleon on the field, another water type, and we've been seeing electric types be played. I would call that a misplay from our good friend Jay. Well, <laughs> you never know. Inteleon might have, uh, it, it might have uh, ice moves, um, you know, a good ice beam. It's a good special attacker. You know, I believe that its move might always hit. I'm not sure since it's a sniping thing. There's another zippy zap, a super effective strange, strange steam, steam hits. But now Rayquaza has two times evasion. Yeah, and it just, Intellion doesn't quite have the speed to really deal with Rayquaza like that. Mm -hmm. And Rayqua Rayquaza, 53% of the health on that last hit. You're not going to, and with priority, you aren't going to be able to take out Rayquaza like that. There, What Jay needs is a rock type or something. Hit it in the back, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Intellion is up. out. 2.3. Yeah, that oh. is a evasion raised four times now. You need to clear it. We need to clear smog. Annihilate is out here Annihilate on the field. Annihilate is in here. One of my personal favorites. Does I, I love Annihilate so much. I would normally ask if Annihilate has anything on the board, but anything that could deal with this, but we truly don't know because of the broken cup rules. He's Thank burning you. bulwark to protect Stone oh. Edge. Oh. I will say Stone Edge, a move that is notoriously hard to hit with. And we're using it on a Pokemon that has upped its evasion four times. Oh, terrestrialized into rock era. type. Oh, brutal. Stone Just Edge is going to miss. Awful behavior. Just the disrespect from the champion. This is At this some is point, this does become bullying, and we do need to... to to fire them. We will put Fleur into the bully box. A zippy zap against Annihilate to continue to crank that bad boy. Meteor Mash is gonna miss. It's not gonna work. You can't do this anything here. This is rough. Oh, Jay was who, on who such a Who set up this tan. tournament? Who gave the two-time champion um, a Mega Rayquaza with zippy zap? Jay, Jay, Jay did. Jay set up the tournament. Jay, Jay set this Jay, up? Oh, Jay okay. and Martin set this up, yeah. Oh, okay, well, Jay should have some words with themselves after the match. <laughs> It is a vicious showing here, and unless a miracle happens right now, it's all going to be over. Yeah, world champ difference in the chat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Normally reserved for Wolf Glick. Uh, also, <laughs> oh, I hit! I hit! I hit! <laughs> Another thing that was so hard triggering. Rayquaza's off the board. Meteor mash. That may have been the world champ difference, but there's something to be said for the, the the heart of the fucking cards, Andrew. The power that lives in the competitor's soul. There was a little part of me that was expecting a second Mega Rayquaza to come out there. <laughs> Mega Obama Snow out here on the field. It is now Jay's back in this. They just have to fight to survive. Holy wow. shit. Wow. Can we get the comeback? Now, one of the neat things about Annihilate, it's been hit a couple times now. It, it presumably has access to Rage Fist, which is stronger based on the number of times you've been hit before. Oh, and that could be big right now. Jet Punch doesn't kill it. A berry heals it up. Armor Cannon, super effective. Oh, it's all on the field right now. Obama Snow still able to outspeed Annihilate. 
Mm -hmm. but, yeah, Jet Punch is a pro well, Jet Punch isn't a, a priority move. Okay. It's a water move. Who knows if it's going to have enough to... Annihilate lowered its defenses, but probably not enough that it gets a kill with a Jet Punch. 18%. And Point sixty seven. I don't think that work make that math works out in the champ's favor here. Yeah, Mega Bomba Snow. There's no way that's going to be fast enough. Walking to Wake. No. Altergeist comes in, and it was attacked Walking by wake. its own flame plate. Mm hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit. <clears throat> that is this... Walking Wake, a water dragon type. Really Suddenly, powerful, it feels like the momentum the has changed here in the arena tonight, Andrew. It feels that, like Jay has stumbled back up and is hitting with such a flurry. Yeah, Spirit Break is going to take down Annihilate. It is two to two now in a matchup that we thought Jay lost 20 minutes ago. Oh. Now Skarada and Pidgeot against Mega Obama Snow and Walking Wake. It doesn't... Normally, I would say that the, the Mega and the Paradox have the advantage here but this really feels like it could be anyone's game I mean, Ascarada down 13 to 13 percent if it doesn't go first it's likely dead what can Walking. it have here it does go first it tries Fire's to make it rain make again it rain. but it's resisted oh mm -hmm. jay no the spirit break if we have a clearance of spirit break where where the champ let jay feel it for a second and then spirit break three times to crush them well, I think that we are we are clearing away now. Walking Wake's a dragon type. Pidgeot's now is a is a Terra dragon type. Mm -hmm. Fleur says, "Hey, watch this in the chat." I'm very scared for what this next turn is going to be. Ivy Cudgel does Ivy not Cudgel clear. Ivy Cudgel some damage. Fleur Cannon. Fleur no! Cannon. No, that can't be possible. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> they put the name on the move and everything! The champ's name is in lights and it's for a reason! Fleur, wow. Fleur moves on to the next fucking round! I thought, oh what my a god! Match. What a back and forth! What a, what a fucking amazing match! Oh, we used to call those WrestleMania moments, you know what I mean? Those are those things that you watch and you're like, holy shit! Anything can happen here. That was an amazing performance by Jay, but it was an amazing performance by the champ. Fuck. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my God. All right. Let me find I the... apologize for this cough. I thought this was further away than it was. Listen, you're out here being loud and talking. It's going to happen. I'm pulling up right now our next matchup here. Um, it's a good one. Yeah. You want to tell me a little bit about it? Yeah. We've got two more uh, newcomers to the to the showdown showdown. Uh, we have <clears throat> our first matchup. Uh, we got Aaron, uh, who actually hates shorts, uh, is, was sent in. Um, Aaron is the co-host of the Kame House Party, our uh, Dragon Ball Improv podcast mm -hmm, here on the mm -hmm. network. KHP is one of my favorite shows. I love it so dearly, and I am glad it is on the show, and I'm glad Aaron could be competing here tonight. Um, let mm -hmm. me real quick message Mar. But, and he is going to be up against Mac, uh, who's definitely a real human. Uh, and Mac is from the Maniculum. Well, let's take a second and let's hear from Aaron. I take you to the Titan Tron. It's me, Aaron J. Shelton, one of those Kame House Party boys, the universe's only improv comedy dragon. Hey, 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 get him off the stream. And I got to say, I'm going to win this entire tournament. It's a lock. Look, I know I'm new to the space. I know that I'm a bit of an underdog. Like, was the last Pokemon game that I beat Pokemon Snap? Correct. Uh, did I just find out today that there are Steel-type Pokemon? Also true. Uh, am I only able to compete on Friday? This is factual. But you got to believe me, folks. I am going to take this entire tournament by storm uh go to DraftKings right now i believe this tournament is there put that 401k on aaron j shelton this is a lock <laughs> we're andrew if we're not on DraftKings, i gave a lot of money to somebody and I, i'm scared now <laughs> Uh, it was me. Don't worry about it. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, and you said our next host is is Mac for the Maniculum. Is that correct? I believe so. Then let me go to the Titantron and hear 
from Mac. Mac here. I'm told that we need to record a series of promos for this event. This is not a genre that's within my wheelhouse, so I'm falling back on what I do know, which is medieval literature and tabletop role-playing games. Thus, <clears throat> I heard that Brecca once beat you in a swimming contest. That's an insult from Beowulf. It's devastating. You're devastating. Damn. <laughs> Ass God. <laughs> We're waiting. It's right. record. <laughs> uh, incredible. From these smart motherfuckers, sometimes they get me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I I am currently waiting on our on our next link here. Andrew, tell me what you think about this tournament so far. How are you feeling about how the ways these matches have shot out? Frankly, it's been oh, impressive every time. This has been an incredible an incredible event. I uh this past uh th th that last match was incredible. Mm -hmm. Uh the the back and forth of it's so over, we're so back uh <laughs> was truly an incredible way to start that off and uh, I'm I'm I, I'm, I'm sad. I will say I'm sad that Jay lost that one in the end, uh, but I thought it was an incredible mm -hmm. match to start. I agree. And before we get going, I just want to say, since we, Jay was in that match, Marn and Jay put this event together and it's fucking incredible every time. So shout out to Marn and Jay. And then at ground control here, we have our good friend Paddington helping run the promos and having helped <laughs> sat down with me at 6, 6.30 a.m. this morning. So thank you so much to the entire ground control and the people who put this event together. But until, Absolutely. until then, we have to move forward here and we have to see what Aaron and Mac bring to the fucking table. And so I say those again, the three words everybody loves to hear, say it in chat with me. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. I gotta say, uh, Aaron here was saying that they have not uh, played a game since Gen 1. Imagine being in that position and sitting down and going, what the hell is a guzzler? <laughs> what the fuck is a guzzler? <laughs> We have a spikes. We the spear break, which did so good last round. It makes sense why you're going in right now. It is super <laughs> effective too. Knocks down the special attack. <laughs> it's it's. We got some big moves happening here. Mac being the first person to use the commands in the chat that show you what is weak against what, which is that kind of like professional level. Let me check my fucking notes that a researcher is gonna bring to the table. It is a strong move to look up and say, what am I doing here? <laughs> you know, so, there's power in that. Sharpedo's coming out. This is the third dark Pokemon that we've seen so far. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, is that true? Only third? Or third in this match? Third, yeah, dark in That this makes match. sense. I was like, hold this, on. This match is three for three dark Pokemon. A type of Pokemon that Aaron doesn't know exists. So <laughs> Aaron we're doesn't know about start. Steel, does not know about Fairy or Dark. <laughs> Burning Bulwark comes out and Combat Torque. Oh. Uh, Combat Torque does not hit because of the Protect. Uh, that is a move that I believe is used by a Starmobile. Yep. Trying to get in some real damage. All right, all right. It's, it is thinking it through the Jet Punch against the Hound Doom is a big hit. We have super effectives left and right. Sharpedo mm -hmm. has, does Sharpedo have the priority in general? It does, I think. So Jet Punch is a priority move. But uh, last Sharpedo... time with Burning Bulwark, it also hit first. Uh, It doesn't matter. Oh, huh. Sharpedo used Burning Bulwark, which is a, it's a protect move. So it always says. Oh, well, either what way. What happened there? It's, it's a double kill there from the innards out that Sharpedo. Hound Doom used Combat Torque. Dealt the last damage. Sharpedo has innards out, which is Pukamuku's signature ability that deals damage when you kill it with a combat move. Oh, it's shit. Guts Go, no you don't, and bops ya. Uh, so it took out the Houndoom with it. Let's go. Holy now, shit, big dubs, a big dubs. Aaron's Houndoom did come in and uh, did an incredible, oh. Oh boy, uh, how do we explain Deller uh, to a person. Um, 
<laughs> Andrew, you gotta get in that chat. You gotta help because I don't know what stellar means. <laughs> what is the name of Cthulhu? It's a stellar type. Yeah, I stellar also have me. no clue. <laughs> <laughs> we have unfortunately given two children a bunch of battle tech minis and a rule book and said go at it fellas <laughs> all right vaporeon and lapras we've got two we got a water type and an ice type on the field right now two blue motherfuckers but there are some field effects on lapras's side and now vaporeon's just so sleepy Stellar means super effective chat. against all types. Andrew, <clears throat> can you join their chat and tell them that? It does not mean super effective against... Stellar does not mean super effective against Jay all types. Jay is lying to me and making me look a fool in the announcer's boot. Oh, <laughs> I have disconnected from this battle. Don't do that. I need you to help commentate. It's okay because they're thinking right now. We're processing. Aura Sphere hit. Vaporeon wakes up, hits Combat Torque right back. Lost 25% of its health and is now paralyzed. Super effective against all Terras. Does that sound right? That sounds right. All right, it is neck and neck here. We have two down on Max side, one down on Aaron's side. Lapras out here paralyzed and sitting on some bad shit right now. It is anybody's ball game. Anybody could come out the top of this. Mystical power knocking down another 19%, boosting that special attack. But again, he goes night night. All right, we got Lapras of Vapora. We're sorry about that. <laughs> Marn also, <laughs> Marn in the books, in the chat with the literature of what Stellar Terra type does. <laughs> The real answer, what does Stara tell our type to? Nothing. No one's ever used it. Mega Absol out here on the board, getting another free turn off that sleeping Vaporeon. Mm -hmm. Aaron, I think, is tapping into that, that part of him that remembers what Pokemon is and might take it. I have this feeling in my gut. Even though, even though Mac is doing the work, is doing the research to figure out what the best move is here, I believe Nickel in my heart. Beam. Fickle so beam. Absol's using Fickle Beam, uh, the signature move of Hydrapple, which has the potential to deal uh, like double the amount of damage when you use it. Ooh! 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 Vaporeon clearing the fucking board wow. after that shell smash. Absol knocked down its own defense and then <laughs> fucking Mac was able to capitalize on it and break on in. Incredible behavior there. Ooh, shell smash. High risk, high reward, but not this time. A matchup for we the Eons here. We got an Eevee here. fight. All right, we're prepping, we're ready. Looking Riley, down the what's barrel. what's your favorite Eevee? What's my favorite Eevee? Uh, Jolteon. Followed by Leafeon. Okay, I think Leafeon's my favorite. Leafeon's really good. Again, if they released a flying or bug type, I think it would be all over for me, but for some reason they don't release an Eevee every generation. <laughs> I'm I'm glad for it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Eevee. I mean, that's why they're almost completely out of champs, I think. Good. Tapu Fini Tapu is Fini here. Tapu Fini coming in. Drought indeed. Knocking it to, to a, a harsh sunlight. Ob Obstruct doesn't do shit for shit. This has been a weird matchup so far. Yeah, there's there's been a lot of kind of having to... There's been a lot of weird fucking interactions and tight matchups. Yes. And frankly, not many legendaries. Mm hmm. Will o Wisp trigger getting the burn off, but doesn't do it, doesn't do any damage, right? Right. All right, all right. So we're working on the status effect goal here. The, the well, fire, fire moves hopefully doing more. I see the, the reasoning here. <clears throat> Tapu Fini, really good Pokemon. One of the, one of the better Pokemon to come out of that generation. Uh, I have a so when you can give it any move, it's just like, well, who knows what this thing can hit you with? I have a soft spot in my heart for the Tapus. I really like their style, and I know I've talked about this in Champs in the Making before. So, frankly, mm -hmm. if it's a Tapu, Screamtail! Screamtail! Ow! 
I have a the the reverse of whatever a fucking love is for the 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 the, the, the primeval the paradoxes. Paradoxes. I, oh, I like I like the paradoxes. I think I prefer the robot ones, but that's just because I like robots. See, I like the caveman ones more than I like the the robot ones. Oh, it's a dog with a sword. It's a dog with a sword. Hyper drill. See, I said there weren't very many legendaries, and then they sent out Tapu Vini and Zashian, so... What do I know? Here we go, here we go. Dog with sword can do good fucking work here. The weakness is against Zashian. steel. Zashian's A got fairy, steel. Fairy steel type. Possibly the best type combination in the game. Is that true? Because I like... I, when I think Empoleon, steel and water, that's another one that like really resonates with me. Mm -hmm. Leech life. I, I, I just mean from like a power level. Oh, I well, I similarly like steel and water doesn't have a lot of uh, weaknesses. No, not it, it. It's yeah, it's it. They cover some of their weaknesses pretty decently for each other. Like I think steel covers the grass weakness that water gets, and water covers the fire weakness that steel gets. So it's it's a very enjoyable thing. That leech life there, getting Zacian a little bit more juice there to fight. And now we have the mega camera up, flip turn hitting, water absorb going off. Oh wow. no! What? That's a big <laughs> ability to have. Water absorb, camera, mega camera up, and uh, you know the the Zashian was planning on swapping out there with a flip turn, but it, because the water absorb took it, it said, no, 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 you're staying in here with me. You stay in uh, here with me and I heal. The mortal spin from camera up didn't affect Zacian either, which is as, leading to this like, the, well, yeah, <sighs> as a steel type, uh, Zacian is immune to poison. So it is weird that, uh, it's weird that the, the, the info didn't say that Zacian is immune to poison. That says weak to poison. Yeah. Be I think it might be just fairy unless you give it the sword and then when it has the sword, it becomes a steel type. And so technically Zacian isn't or something like that. Our next competitor, Ty, just said something in the chat. Andrew, can you read it for me? No, I can't because uh, I'm looking at chat on my tablet and my tablet is in safe mode. So I have not been able to read chat for a good chunk of the well, night. Ty does say, why is Tapu Fini low-key sexy? <laughs> And Ty, you need to look inside yourself and figure that one out, okay? <laughs> Let's discuss what you mean by that. It's it is we have this kind of like neck and neck here of, of like two two people poking and prodding at each other to try to find what the, the hit is going to be that brings it in. The leech life mm -hmm. from Aaron is a good consistent move. It brings up your health, you keep swinging. It is not a bad plan to keep going for that. But Tapu Fini's been over there kind of beefing themselves up. We have a swords dance that go off. The spiky shield, big move to block from that attack order. Mm -hmm. And waiting out the sunlight. Now, Zashian is burned, which means that all of Zashian's moves, the physical attacks that Zashian uses are going to have lower attack, uh, or lower lower base power. So, uh, Zashian's just going to do weaker damage. The Swords Dance is going to be good for pumping that attack back up, but it's still not quite going to be on the level of damage that it could do before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Oblivion Wing is a big hit in from to Vaporeon, knocking down that health. It feels like Aaron has some momentum now, is able to get hits in. Now this Leech Life is really good. Uh, Zashian able to use that to recover HP back with every hit. Zashian, normally a real powerhouse, it's still doing enough to keep itself topped up pretty well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, and that's good, because that burn is constantly working against it. Oblivion Wing to wrap up that Vaporeon, and now we have a leader in this matchup in Eren right now. We've yeah, seen Zashian, all of Max Pokemon. Zashian just has moves that are healing it back up, um, which is very odd. I do think that... Uh, yeah, dealing, getting the Zashian off the table, I think, is really the, the biggest thing Mac has to deal with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, we know, we know Aaron has seen interactions with Screamtail and Zashian before. Do we think Zashian has anything to work through Screamtail? Anything to work with that? So, we've seen it has Leech Life, Flip Turn, Spiky Shield, and Oblivion Wing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any moves that are super effective against the Screamtail. Uh, and I... I will say, 
I have only seen Screamtail built as a supporting partner in doubles matches, mm -hmm. so I'm not really sure what uh, what exactly Screamtail brings to the table as a competitor here. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't mean that in a mean way. I just literally don't know. <laughs> he used Hyper Drill last turn, dealt some damage. <clears throat> Aaron saying, love my vampire dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's true now there's a part of me that is a oh screamtail went berserk screamtail went berserk that, uh, that increases that special attack correct and and so now there might be a chance in which it can beat its way through that absorb wall yeah i got the text here uh so berserk is uh was adapted into a 25 episode anime television series by olm which covered the golden age um. story arc uh, which is broadcast that's from not... October 97 to March 98. Andrew, that's not, that's, I think we're talking about a different thing. Uh, it's Berserk. <laughs> Big collision, collision course, course off of a screen tail. Oh. <laughs> These are just two, two little, little fairy guys going back and forth, bopping each other on the heads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is just swing, swing, swing. And I, I don't know who's going to come out of this on top. It's truly... If Zassian can stay on the board, I think Aaron can, see, can cinch it. But I'm not... Oh! Flip turn? Clever to get out of there. Yeah, using flip turn to swap out, and now Screamtail's gonna have to deal with whatever comes in. Wait for something that that leech life can get a bigger a bigger suck out of. Or the Oblivion Wing, which you can get a suck, right? Like, that Zassian is just... slurping up health. And intimidates Sylveon, so lowers the attack of that Screamtail. Collision course is resisted, but the Sylveon is also burned. We've got mm -hmm. a couple burns and a paralysis on uh, here on Aaron's team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In one Pokemon we have not seen. You know, when people say like watching, watching technical, I don't know what I can't say because it's been so long that I, ha I can't remember what I said, Marn. Screamtail is down, Sylveon is up. This is kind of what you feel like when you would watch. And long ago, somebody left with the cup. <laughs> Long ago, you would watch uh, uh, the Spurs play basketball and people would say it's fucking boring and they're wrong because this is technical play. And it's the same with technical wrestling. People who are trying to figure it out and hit the right moves and are kind of bouncing off each other in this way, I think is so fun to watch because you are really seeing like an unlock happen here, right? You're seeing the momentum get gained. You're seeing what does each of these thing to do. It is a educational match and a match in which I, the viewer, am learning and our viewers are learning as well. It's it it it, it is a fucking uh, uh uh it's a it's an entire class in one arena. Yeah, it's like uh, this year's Super Bowl. Sometimes it's about the points you don't score. Mm -hmm. They. What are my feelings on the baseball pitch clock? I love the baseball pitch clock. <laughs> I, I like I hate that baseball is four hours long. That's why I liked it when it was 30 minutes long. Mortal Spin takes out Sylveon. <laughs> takes out Sylveon. He turned 34. We are now past our longest match yet. Yeah, sometimes singles matches can get really deep into these, the turn count. These two are taking each other apart with technicality and precision. Lapras, Lapras out here the on the spikes, spikes, paralyzed. Uh, what are my feelings on the robo ump? I believe umpires should be fallible. I don't believe that you should have infallible umps in a sport. Horn leech from the camera umped. Oh, it's go. also healing back up a little bit. There we go. Camera ump lost is... some of its HP. Presumably, it has a life orb. All right, this is where we're gonna get scary here. All right, it is. We're down to two v two. And Volcarona is coming in over for for Aaron. Now imagine no one... not playing Pokemon for years, and then you get a Volcarona. <laughs> you have to figure this out. Now I assume the bold there and the text that Mac has just brought up means that they have a Rock type move on their person. Oh, water Origin absorb. Pulse. That's information Poisons that the Aaron Volcarona. learned. Aaron knew about mm -hmm. the water absorb, but I, I understand you see red, you go for the wet. I get it, it I get it, it, it I get it. The heat of the battle here, it is hard to remember these. It's hard to remember that this weird Pokemon has a weird move now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is neck and neck out here. I truly don't know who's going to come out the next, the next step. Who's gonna come out on top in this match? That Volcarona is going to hit first, but the question is, 
Are you going to be able to hit a move that's going to do it against this freak? Doesn't matter. It's out. Tapafini comes in. Terrestrialized into a water type. Water Volcarona. Missed. Hurt by the poison. Speed goes up even further. Is Matt going to pull this off? <sighs> Tapufini and Camerupter, an interesting combo together. Assuming that the Camerupt has fire and ground moves that it hasn't shown yet, the sun's going to boost those up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and lower, mm -hmm. if, if this Volcarona, it's going to lower the power of this Origin Pulse. I wonder what other moves the Volcarona has on its docket here. Zacian is back out Zacian's here. Zacian's back. Hurt by the spikes, attack Ooh. order, deals a little bit of damage, down Still to six. Still up, the burn, burn takes, takes it, it down. Oh, just a, a, a litany of awful situations, leaving Aaron on the furthest back foot yet here. Aaron needs to figure out something, just spent a Pokemon in order to get slightly more damage on the Volcarona. It might be, it might be out. This is a true I quit match. This is one of those this ones that it. is endurance and Mac is going to make their way through here unless Aaron can pull off a miracle. You know, it, it that first turn, Mac set up uh, spikes instead of doing a damaging move and mm. doing that did kind of feel like it set up that Buzzwill or yep. the, uh, the Guzzlord to die because, you know, it, it wasn't able to hit multiple times that it needed to. But we're seeing it pay off now mm -hmm. as as we're getting to the point. My, my favorite point in, in singles matches are when things have been beat down, drag out long enough that it's just like I send out a Pokemon, a little chip here, a little chip there, yep. damage from the status, I'm out. And that bit by bit kind of attitude is what brought Mac the victory over Aaron. I'm sorry about your and my DraftKings losses, everybody. But Mac <laughs> is moving on to the next round. Incredible work, everybody. Incredible, Incredible work. match. Oh, fucking great shit. I that was wonderful to watch. <laughs> <laughs> incredible match but we got two more incredible matches left to go yes yes our next one is uh, a good friend of mine jake mason host of the morphin grid host of pokemon world tour united host of kingdom smarts one of the people that got me into podcasting i would love to hear what he has to say let me so take you they're the one Tron. to blame so when riley hopkins asked me to be a part of this pokemon showdown for the moonshot podcast network I thought, sure. Sounds like fun. What's the worst that could happen? Well, turns out the worst that can happen is that I go to look at the bracket and next to my name, who I'm fighting in the first round, is Ty. The company that made all the Beanie Babies? <laughs> that doesn't seem very fair. Do you know how many Beanie Babies there are? So I decide, sure, let's go do some research. I hop onto Beanie Pebia and that dang website barely works. I try to see who's the most dangerous Beanie Babies you got here. There's no tab for that. My 2015 MacBook starts sounding like a launch day PS3. I think Riley Hopkins set me up to fail. But you know what? I am a professional and I am somewhat of an expert in using the art and the science of random chance to determine the outcome of Pokemon battles. So I'm going to do my best on this one. And if you're not careful, Ty, you're going to end up just like all my BB babies that I used to collect. In two different trash bags on my storage unit. <laughs> incredible promo <laughs> there's something beautiful that happens in this in this fucking game in this series where two people who don't know each other must cut a promo against each other <laughs> i love i love when two strangers meet and cut a promo that says i'm gonna leave you in two separate trash bags <laughs> and let's, i let's... don't think i i don't think we're allowed to say that on it <laughs> And let's go to the to, to, let's go to the owner of those trash bags, Ty, not the Beanie Baby Company. Hey, Moonshot Pokemon Showdown folks, how's it going? My name is Ty, and I have been either on or adjacent to the Moonshot Network since its inception. And in that time, I don't think I've ever won anything on this network in any stream ever. Uh, today I will be competing in the Pokemon Showdown. I don't understand the format. I have not met my opponent. I likely will not win again. So, if nothing else, I am content. <laughs> All right, Ty volunteering to climb directly into the into the, the garbage bag. All the, right. Much like the Beanie Baby Company did go, it is going to go down, down, down. And let's, let's... Actually, I think we're good. We're going to call it. Bye, everyone.
Bye everyone, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's all no we got for babies. No more beanie babies. <laughs> I am hitting the bell. Ding, ding, ding. And let's see the, 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 the man with a Pokemon podcast versus the, the man who does not understand the format. And let's see what wins here. We're moving quick immediately oh. with a Gigaton Hammer and an Electro Drift. Damn. So we're seeing our old friend Mega Camberrupt is back in this match. Mm -hmm. uh, used Electro Drift onto this Kingdra, but unfortunately, Kingdra has a uh, Lightning Rod. So it draws in electric moves and bumps its special attack. Meanwhile, it fired off a Gigaton Hammer. Now it's Shell Smashing. Ty is going hard, saying, you know what? Lower my defense, boost my attack. I'm ready to fucking go with this cow thing. <laughs> So, so we got Kingdra here, a litany of different status effects sitting on it because of that cell smash. And Camrupt is sat and watching, preparing. Will that Photon Geyser hit before whatever Kingdra has ready? Shadow Sneak to try and take out the Camrupt, but the priority didn't do it. Okay, all right, all right. Out, done. Don, Don Dozo. Dozo swapping in into a photon geyser. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We're Don cooking Dozo. in here. Now, Don Dozo's notable for being the Pokemon that uh, teams up with a little fish that jumps into its mouth and drives it like a like a mech. Um, <laughs> Electro Drift comes in, oh. takes it down. But I was about to say- Toxic I'm is curious. on that camera up, Andrew. And that's going to get stronger every turn. That is one of those future plays that we saw last time that played off so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was about to say, I don't know what Dondozo is going to do uh, as it's uh, trying to set this up. It's going to poison you, and then Galusapod's going to take you out. All right, all right. Neck and neck, one down on each side right now. Oh, it's rough and tumble out here. Galusapod is great, but if I'm not mistaken, it will run away when its health hits half. Is that correct? Yep. Well... We, I guess it, we don't if know. It, if it still has that ability. All right, Zacian, who we saw so Seeing proudly Zacian, last time. We're just seeing a, 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 a bunch of hits from last match over mm -hmm. over on uh, Jake's side. Jake's got the same team that did Aaron in, and I'm hoping that Jake can do a little better with it. We don't know for certain. Raging Bull spin out back and forth, just swinging left and right, confirming mm -hmm. that Zacian is going to get the boost, get the first move every time here because of that lost speed. Oh, but is it gonna matter? Liquidation, dealing some damage. They're, they're trading blows back and forth, but none of these these blows haven't seemed to be enough to knock out this Glissabod. Is it gonna? Is it gonna? Oh, there it is. It, it instead of swapping out, it ate a berry that boosted its own attack. That Holy lychee shit. berry raised Glissabod's attack, finished it off with a liquidation. It's at low health. We'll see if it's going to be able to, to get off any more of these boosted moves against uh, whatever whatever Jake sends in from here. Low health losing... and low speed. Jake is now on the underfoot, on the back foot, bringing out Alta Mega uh, Altaria. Me mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A low kick. Oh, not very effective. Jake, you have a Pokemon podcast. <laughs> Boost. Lowers a special attack. Galisapod does look like a mech at the end of a mission where it's just like my special attacks cut in half, my speed's cut in half. I am still standing. I can keep firing out moves. Mm -hmm. But Nightshade not for long. finishes it off. All right, we're still two and two out here, baby. Jake with a mostly fine Altaria. And who's uh, you coming know, on the field? I, I was going to say something before, but I decided it'd be uncouth. Um, but uh, Altaria is level 69, um, and I didn't think that I should say it out loud until I... we're using Nightshade, which is going to deal 69 damage every time it does. You Because uh, it does damage equal to its level. You did the right thing, Andrew. <laughs> so <laughs> Raging Bolt is out of here. That long neck looking motherfucker. G-Max Vocalith went off super effective. Boy, 1% of the health. Your ally Pokemon became surrounded by rocks. What does that mean, Andrew? So G-Max Vocalith is a rock type move. It is the signature ability of um, of uh, uh, Gigantamax um, Hot Rhydon, uh, the the Rhyperior, the Pokemon that Carcol evolves into. Oh, uh, in in Galar, um, it's a move that it it leaves uh, rocks around the field, which will continue to deal damage every turn. All right, all right. 
Immediately, so, Spectre yeah. is burned by a Will of Wisp and has triggered its Beads of Ruin ability. Ooh, so that'll lower the special defense of other Pokemon. Uh, Will of Wisp, yeah, burned it. It got hit with the rocks from the the Volcalith. It seems like this Altaria is built to be kind of a stalling Pokemon. Big um, haze to 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 eliminate all status effects on the field. Those rocks are going to deal X are going to do Jake a good fucking service here today. Unfortunately, I think that uh, Ty, I think that Ty expected that those uh, the 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 conditions were status changes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they were or, not. Or were, were were stat changes, not statuses. So uh, yeah, Goth Horse came in and is going down now. One of my personal Tyranitar favorites, Tyranitar. It's currently three to four. And uh, Jake has three hidden Pokemon in the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shadowbone, we're about to get into one of those three hidden Pokemon right now. Ty, Ty fighting with Tyranitar, this is one of those situations like with the Floor Cannon, right? You have the name, it's there. You have that Ash and Greninja for some reason cohesion. I, oh, like Tyranitar, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was like, I was like, what part of Shadow Bone has Ty's name in it. I got you. I got you. We're same page now. I got you. All right. Bullet punch coming through from Celebi at a raging fury. Super effective. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Parish song going off. That Tyranitar is down in three turns. Yeah, Tyranitar has Parish body, which means that if these Pokemon do not swap, they will faint in three turns. Seed Flare, super effective. Losing health, losing special offense. Celebi is out. Two turns left on that Parish, and Tyranitar is confused right He's now. Confused, will die in two turns, and it's a very low health and special defense. Tyranitar has seen better days, but it took out two different Pokemon. Oh my god. It now, it's now three to two in the opposite direction. Pulled out, Raging Bolt is in, heavily damaged, super Ooh. effective, down immediately. Arduino with that big hit on the, on the switcheroo. Kingdra out, the low health. Jake the might. focus blast comes in, not a high chance to hit, but super effective on the on the the Terrid Raging Bolt. Super effective against Tyranitar if it comes back in, and Kingdra's not doing too hot. Oh no no, Kingdra's not. Arduino basically just needs to hit something. That Gigadon Hammer <laughs> dealing half damage, but the Super Fang not able to clear it. Oh. Not able to clear. It. Super Fang always cuts the total HP in half, or the le the the HP that is left in half. Oh. So. That's scary, that's scary, that's scary. Mm -hmm. Thousand waves, not able to clear off Arduino, but a Springside Storm able to clear out the Kingdra. One Pokemon left for Ty. Jake Mason might be going into round two if he plays yeah. his cards just right. Immune! Arduino, oh. immune to Shadowbone, but misses the Focus Blast. Another chance for Ty right now. Another chance, a gift but for by the grace of God. That is such a, a, a it is a, a mistake that you feel like you can't come back from. But Ugh. Ty's given a second chance here. Raging Fury. Not enough. Doesn't do enough to get. Miss. Misses again. Oh, Jake, what's happening? That Arduino needs to get its head storm. in the fucking game. You can't miss two big hits like that. Another Raging, Raging Fury, Fury cleaning out the Arduino. Confusion hitting the Tyranitar. Quite literally anyone's game. Basculesian. Basculesian. Never mind. This is entirely Jake's game. All right. Basculesian, one of the most broken Pokemon that exists in the format at the moment. Drain punch. A drain punch comes in. Crack open. Doesn't even use last respects. Crack open that big creature like a cold one. Jake Mason's moving on to the next round after taking the big slurp of that Tyranitar. Holy shit. <laughs> The goth fish takes the win. What a win. What a win. First time Pokemon Showdown, Showdown cover. Jake taking it over many time Pokemon Showdown, Showdown loser tie. God damn. Incredible work, everybody. Oh, Andrew, I don't want it to end, but I think we only have one more left. Is that right? I think we've only got the one left. Yeah. Oh. It's been an amazing night here, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful game. And we're excited to come. I get to come back tomorrow night, which is the best part of all of this, right? And so mm -hmm. I, I look forward to that. But until then, who do we have as our next matchup? Up next, we've got Nessa, the unending noob. Uh, you might know her from Dead Team House Party. 
Uh, we got up against L, the second round failure. Uh, you may know Zem from losing in the second round of every Showdown Showdown. All right. And with that, let's hear from our good friend, L, Constellation, up on the Titantron. Mac. Yes. How long have you known me? Um, we're, we're going on seven years now. H have you known me to be good at Pokemon in that time? Um, I... I, have I known you to be good at Pokemon? No, um, but I, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I, have, have I you support you. My, have you see my performance on any of the other Pokemon Showdown showdowns? I'm not gonna lie, I've been busy for the other Pokemon Showdown showdowns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, how do you think my chances are? Um, well, who are the other contenders? Um, people who have won. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure people who've lost also, right? Yeah, there there is a loser's bracket. Okay, I think you could do really well in the loser's bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of not briefing your friend. <laughs> going, okay, can I ask you if I'm going to do good? And them going, dog, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. We've we have we've invoked a third Mac on the stream. I do want to I do want to point that out. <laughs> we love to keep the max levels high. Um, next up, yes, is is Dead Teen House Party's very own Nessa to the Titan Tron. Too far. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Nessa. That's right. I have a hat and glasses now, and I will be going up against L now. Did I struggle with basic typing last year? Yes. Am I zero for zero on beating literally anybody in this game? Yes. Third thing about myself that to make me seem pathetic at Pokemon for the rule of three of comedy. Yes. But I'm going to win and be your number one victory royale Pokemon champion. Why? And that's just going to make L's defeat all the more humiliating. Also, I have a chart map. <laughs> Was that a San Pellegrino? <laughs> Look, it's it's in invoking a chart is the most important thing you can do. <laughs> it's not just the fucking tight matchup chart. <laughs> yeah, people people don't people think they know uh, they know types too well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, everyone would do better with a chart. chart is important. Mm -hmm. And the only thing more important than a chart is beginning the match. So let's let's head on in there and let's tell our dear friends, ding, 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 and let's let them at it and have it. Uh, if you missed any of the matches tonight or missed any of the promos, want to watch them again, we upload them to our YouTube, moonshot.com moonshot pod, moon, moonshotpods.com slash YouTube. We'll get you there. Mm -hmm. oh. Ding, ding, ding. We got a slug versus a moth. This is what it's all about. Nessa's got that side guard. <laughs> Elle's got that Volcarona. Spikes! Spikes. We've seen how strong spikes are. We've seen pop. Wow. Population bomb hit one time. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Do you know population bomb? Is that the move that uh, fucking Mousehold has? It is. It's a move that hits up to... I want to say 10 times. Holy shit. So it hitting it, one is absurd. You know, if I Google the phrase population bomb, it doesn't bring up Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure it puts me on a list. Yeah. It is a damage dealing multi strike move that introduced the signature move of Tandemouse. Hits up to 10 times. Because it uh, it basically like checks each time to do a hit. God damn. Gudra, Hisuian Gudra is out Hisuian here. Hisuian Gudra. Population bomb triggering again. Not very effective just twice. Maybe it'll just go up by one each time. Now, this Gudra has neutralizing gas. That stops the ability of any Pokemon on the field. That's big that in this matchup. That is fascinating matchup. here. <laughs> where, where was that when we were trying to fight against... Uh, Mega camera up with water absorbed. <laughs> God damn. Or or the fucking uh the uh the iron leaves that was with Wonder Guard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God. 
Oh, it, it's it's a tough matchup out here. Zygarde at 100% health still. And bringing out... Deller Terrapagos. The motherfucker who looks like the thing they put the Kwamis in in Miraculous Ladybug. Yeah, for sure. What is this freak? Uh, this is the newest legendary from the DLC. I don't like him. And it looks it's like... like a, it's like a turtle thing. His, with a turtle on top. It's turtles all the way down. And um, his health is falling so fast. Because it's the thing in the middle. And then above it is the turtle that is on its head. That's what it looks like at first. Okay. And then it sits on a turtle that looks like the world. Uh, okay. And then there's the big Stella thing at the top. So it's like a turtle Christmas tree. It's a little ice cream cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Fascinating. Well, it looks like I'm not going to have to look at it for too much longer. Because Gooch has been taking out 30% of its health every time. Using thunderous kicks. Mountain Gale comes oh, in. Oh, but and a flinch. Flinches. Big flinch. Can you pull it off twice Very in a roll? Flinch. Is what I ask Nessa. Is it yeah, possible we'll to get see. twice? I mean, it absolutely is. I've, I've won. Ooh. There it is. There it is. <laughs> and then hit it with a third and just take the cheap hit. Take the cheap dump there. Look, sometimes it works, you know? <laughs> That's the thing. If you can freeze out your opponent like that, you know that those thunderous kicks are going to clear you out. Iron Moth is out here. Turbo Blaze going. Mountain Gale missing that time. I will say you get competitive Pokemon players are kind of weird because they'll always complain if they win by luck as if they're not the ones clicking rock slide. <laughs> Iron Moth was faster than Tropicos was able to foul play it on down. Oh my God, dude. That's the first Pokemon dead in this matchup. Turn eight. Nessa is down five to six. Constellation is in the lead. Yeah, With both the uh, analog and digital versions of uh, uh, fucking that uh, Iron Moth. Yeah, do they have the the Skitter Wing? I think is that what it's called, Skitter Wing? They've got Iron. Oh, is there a third version? There sure is. Why'd they give uh, this people, idiot three versions? People like it for some reason. Who likes it is not Volcarona? Skitter Wing. Absurd. Iron Thorns. Peace grassy for Volcarona. Terrain. Slither wing, my bad. <laughs> Everyone in chat telling me that they like Volcarona. I'm glad none of you vote on champs. <laughs> uh, Iron Moth is out here against Iron Thorns. Neither of these Pokemon are Iron type. We got a Fire Poison versus a Rock Electric. Mist Ball, Mist super ball. effective. Mist Ball hits. But that like the the rocks are constantly hitting against or not constantly hitting against iron thorns but iron thorns already already in a bad way against against iron moth here i'm scaredy i'm scaredy <laughs> constellation playing a very particular game right now where where they are trying to keep the numbers game up and keep switching to and fro from all their Pokemon mm -hmm. when they get in a rough place. Now that could leave them in a situation like the like we've seen others hit, where it's just like one bad hit and then you lose the momentum and all your Pokemon go down. But well, is it done a good job of maintaining their Pokemon's HP in the back? Mm -hmm. Gudra is taking a, a chunk of damage, but the Volcarona and now the Iron Moth are well. I take it back right now, but they were sitting at above ninety each, so. Well, Iron Moth has some healing moves and is in this grassy terrain right now and, it, and is mm -hmm. soaking it up. Yeah, it's able to just sit and kind of tank some stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, which has to be frustrating for Nessa. Have to get something off right now. Mm hmm. Tachyon Cutter hits twice, 13 and 11. That'll go down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And Iron Moth heals back up from that grassy terrain. It is six to four. Six to four out here. <sighs> Now, now, that being said, I mean, L was talking about they got a 100% chance to get knocked out around two, 100% success rate getting knocked out. Mm -hmm. That also means 100% success rate in round one. That does mean that, and that is the round we're in. We have the hot roach out on the field right now. Formosa yeah. is ready to party. What if a beetle was mommy? That would hurt more. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Still got hit by the spikes. It's 
the question is, Nessa needs to gain some sort of momentum because there's a little bit of that Pokemon is a mental game. It is an emotion that you have to go through, right? You have to carry yourself through and and, and have the, the will to go on, the will to go forward. When you lose mm-hmm. that momentum, when you lose the, the spirit in the arena, it's hard to regain it back. And I, I, I worry that Nessa has lost that as we see Xerneas get out here and failing a Baneful Bunker Fermosa getting a little bit of a heal off that grassy terrain, but the battlefield then changing. Yeah, Xerneas is coming in, that legendary from, uh, you know, I was about to say, was this one from X or Y? And then I looked at it. It's from Y. Are you sure it's you not from... You can tell, because it looks like this. Isn't it from X because its name is Xerneas and not Yveltal? Shit. You're right. The bird looks more like a Y, doesn't it? This one stands like this, and it's got legs, making it an X. I'm the fool. <laughs> Sometimes I get to be the smart one on Pokemon. Now, I do have one of these in Pal World. Yeah, for sure. Which I have uninstalled from my computer. Yeah. <laughs> was a fun week. That was a fun week. It was fun to see everyone oh. lose their minds for a little bit there, and then just slowly fade into the dust. Uh, Raging Fury, 41% damage with the Torch Song coming in to wipe Formosa Ooh. clean from this fucking planet. Torch Song gets Ooh. the clean KO and boosts Xerneas' special attack. It's it's a big move here. And again, Constellation showing why they make it to the, the second round constantly. Mm-hmm. And Nessa just... Incredible showing in first rounds, for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, they might there might be a situation in which Constellation is the only one who ends their first round with all Pokemon left. You never know. Now, Blissey is a really good uh, special attack tanker, so it will put a spell of a problem for Xerneas. <laughs> and it's it just, just going to sit here and tank moves very easily. Is spell spelled with a, a X or a Y? Spell? Right, Neither. I- I was trying to do something there, and I was hoping that you know, sometimes you start a joke. Oh. Minimize well, upping the invasion by 50% ooh, ooh. damage already on there. It's got the Iron Tail. Iron Tail already low chance of hitting, and now we've got an evasive Blissey. Right. Blissey's lost 67 per, or It's at 0.67 times of its defense, which means that its defense has gone from about 5 to 4. <laughs> Blissey, uh, notably... Can take a fire blast like a champ, cannot take a fire punch. Gudra's back out here trying to neutralize the gas. Neutralizing gas, does that not clear those status effects? It doesn't clear status it effects, clears it abilities. just cuts off abilities. You're right, you're right, you're right. So Gudra's in here, tanks an ice spinner, will <coughs> probably be faster than a Blissey. But can it, it always, hit with that It's point. always funny when you're trying to do like uh speed checks for like i i'm wrong but speed checks for two slow guys because you're just Mm -hmm. like they both kind of (laughs) lumber which one of you gets there slower this is is the thanksgiving and your uncles have been called from the dinner table (laughs) i will say elves officially lost their first pokemon Mm -hmm, gudra mm -hmm. is down we got two moths of xerneas and here's the bonnet bonnet. so ugly (laughs) What if my mushroom was goth? I it's so bad to look at. <laughs> God. Uh and with 50% health left on that Blissey, you have to wonder is Nessa going to be able to hold the line here? You know, it, it, the the evasion is going to be really key here, and I do wonder Brute Bonnet is a, a I believe is a physical Pokémon. It wants to kind of get in there. So I do think that, like, if Brute Bonnet can connect with a good move on the Blissey, there's a good chance they can take it out. But connecting is going to be key when we've already used one Minimize, and mm-hmm. we'll see if we can fire off any more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're pondering. We're, pers- we're thinking. Again, we're having a technical matchup here between two people trying to find the holes in the other's defense. A super effective icy spinner, but barely anything. Soul ceiling, seven star strike. Immune. It's immune though. That sounds like it's a ghost Z move. 
It's super it cool. Is, it is Marshadow's signature Z move. Minimize was just disabled, but it could go off, a, but it did go off a second time. We got 2.33 evasion, a 0.67 defense. Disabling Minimize is smart. Now, Ice Spinner's not doing a lot of damage, but you don't have to do a lot of damage if your opponent doesn't hit you back. Yep, yep, yep. We can sit here and take those swings all fucking day. I'm paid hourly, so I can take this one. Hydro Steam, not very effective. There it is, Bolt though! Bolt Strike connects. finally landing! Oh, Zygarde wow. coming in, taking immediate damage. getting in there. That Bolt Strike was yeah, impressive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, Bolt Strike is Zekrom's signature ability. That has an 85% accuracy. 85% so fact, against that two times. That's mm -hmm. an impressive count. That's the heart of the cards. We've seen two of those big swings land today, and I always love it when we get to see them because it shows that you're never out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that evasion, it's a chance. And say, oh, my beautiful baby. Yeah, you're allowed You're allowed to, to concede at any time. But why would you? Mm -hmm, why should you? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We've seen all of Constellation's Pokemon. Entei out here on the field. The blue flare doing not very much against it. Now that team, that is three fire Pokemon. It's surprising how well they were able to like keep a dub on there, right? How they, mm -hmm. how how well it was it was a it was it was keeping them mobile, not getting caught down by like one bad water type matchup. Import now, if Zygarde has a powerful. Uh... A powerful ground type move Ooh. that could be the end. Dragon energy. Secret sword. Not going to do it. Secret sword doesn't quite do it. Yep, yep, yep. You know Constellation is aiming up again, having seen a super effective hit. And even switching Zygarde out to whoever's left, that's still going to be a big dragon attack swinging in. Mm-hmm. I will say the thing that I've been most surprised by in this event, uh, it, it has entirely been... Um, me having to look up and say which mythical Pokemon signature move is that one? Uh, Secret Sword, Dragon Energy. Dragon Energy is the signature move of Reggie Drago. Oh. Uh, Blue Flare, I believe, is uh, one of the the X and Y or the 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 black and white uh, Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, there it goes down, and we've got Mega Metagross, right. a strong Pokemon. Very good, very powerful Pokemon. Does not match up well against three fire types no. and a dark type. <laughs> Constellation saying, who the fuck is this guy as if it matters <laughs> in chat? Mega Metagross, can it carry it on through or will another Dragon Energy simply just now, clear the field? I mean, Meta Meta Me Mega Metagross is, is powerful. Not v powerful gonna take it down, enough. Though. That's a game, Not a enough. set, and a match. The champion of the second champs do move on to that second round. Constellation, thank you so much for being here, and good night. Andrew, that's the Ooh, end boy. of all of our round one matchups. That is the end for round one, and, and that's the end of the Pokemon Showdown Showdown, right, Riley? Yeah, they, well, no, 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 Andrew. Oh? We come back two more nights. Uh, we come back tomorrow night to to what? move further, and I believe get a a we to move further. Then we come back the third night for the finals, and I believe the losers bracket. Let me pull up the bracket right now here in front of us, in front of God and everyone, so we can see what the matchups are going to be as we kind of move forward here. So yeah, to, tomorrow we've got a lot of different uh, match types. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true. Let me let me cut back over. I'm gonna use our Titan Tron screen for this, but we can okay. we can ignore ignore the Titan Tron for but a moment as I as I bring online the bracket. Now, Andrew, we can mm -hmm. see here next up in in what is a monotype free for all, we have Jacqueline, Manic, Kiefer, and Theo. Those four yes. are gonna be playing against each other. And then we have Floor, Mac, Jake, and L all against mm -hmm. each other as well, which is going to yeah. be incredible. Those matches are going to be, that's a monotype free-for-all, right? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. monotype so free-for-all. It's going to be a four-player match, and uh, every, play, every player is going to get a 
randomized team that each share a type. Mm -hmm. So uh, Kiefer might get steel, while Theo gets water. Manic gets electric. Jacqueline gets dragon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. never know. Uh, those players will all fight against each other in a free for all match. That's going to be very exciting. Now, the, and and over here, Floor is in this situation against Mac, Jake, and and Constellation, where these three could t team up and try to take out the reigning champ. It's possible. That's one of those things that we could see. Then after that, we hit that losers bracket where you know some of our losers are already sitting trucking on through. And, and we will follow those on through to an RCS metronome to see who wins the loser's bracket. But, mm -hmm. Andrew, we're going to have to come back tomorrow night because I, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to get up and leave. You know what I mean? Sure. Okay. <laughs> well, tomorrow, uh, come on back. We'll see some Battle Factory where we're going to get a random uh, Smogon tier, and then it'll generate you and your opponent competitively viable teams for it. We'll explain it more tomorrow. Uh, we'll also get Benjamin Butterfree matches, where instead of a Pokemon getting KO'd, they get de-evolved until they can't evolve de anymore. Holy shit, I didn't know what bad Benjamin Butterfree was. Other match types that we're going to be seeing as we go through the Showdown Showdown, we're going to get the Baby Cup, where you get a pre-made team of all baby Pokemon. We also are going to have a free-for-all Dragon's Den, uh, which is that same kind of 1v1v1v1, except everyone has only Dragon types. Mm-hmm. And we're also going to get a free-for-all ghost house. Same thing, only ghost-type Pokemon. Everything's weak to each other. Mm -hmm. And then Arceus Metronome is what it sounds like on the tin. All Arceus, all Metronome. Bada-bing, bada-boom. We're in for some great matches. We hope that you see us tomorrow night here at 7.30 moon time. That's EST. We will see you then. And until we see you, good night, everyone. Good night, everybody.